and, and a grand evening it is, Cal. Uh, Just glad to be here, Sean. Yes. Not that On the I can CPTC even hear myself. live stream, the Chicago Paddle Tennis Charities. Why did you say you couldn't hear yourself? Because yeah. I am the audio guy. I can't even hear myself. It's right. so loud here. The atmosphere is electric. There you go. And that's exactly why it's we like, like to Lions be in the clubhouse. Oh, yeah. You know, with everybody else. But anyway, we are in lovely Inverness, Illinois at the Inverness Club. Inverness Golf Club, actually, Cal. Just in case you want to grab your three iron. Well. Get out there and. I'm more, of a, I'm more of a five <laughs> iron kind of guy. Are you really? Do you, do, so you're not, you can't hit a long iron? Is that what you're telling me? No. No, no, no. Well, you know what You know what? Uh, Lee Trevino used to say, and you, he's like old enough to be your grandfather, he used to say, if you have a one iron, only God can hit a one iron anyway, so there's no reason to have one. Anyway, Perfect. so we're here at uh, Inverness Golf Club, and this is, you thought that the all-star game, was something that you don't see very often, but every time we get to do the legends, that's basically what we're seeing here for the the Chicago. And you know what? I would say the Miss with Midwestern, and then I would even say the national level because there are some players here, especially you know the, the present company right here on this court that play on the national scale, big time, and 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 win and uh, are champions on the national scale. So I can't I can't say uh, enough about how electric that is. But anyway, so welcome everybody. Definitely conductive. To, yeah, to um, to Inverness, and we're watching uh, on the near side here. I'll introduce the players, Cal. Don't worry about it. And by the way, this is Sean Albrecht. I'm here along with Cal Noble uh, for the CPTC live stream, uh, and uh, it's our pleasure to bring this to you. It's a beautiful night for paddle. Beautiful night for platform, because sometimes people get paddle mixed up with paddle these days, Cal. So we got to. Watch that tennis. Yeah. But anyway, uh, on the near side, serving right now, underhand serving right there, that is Adam Morgan, the great Adam Morgan, uh, out of the North Shore. And he's out of Birchwood Club. And his partner is the future. And I mean that sincerely, Amen. literally and figuratively, because that's the nickname. I'm not even sure he gave him that, gave himself that nickname, but maybe he did. But it's uh, it's apropos. Jirani Barnes. And wait, wait a minute, why, what, by the way, what club is Girani at? Do you know? It's not Evanston. No, sir. Well, anyway, we'll figure that out. But Girani has been a legend for years in the paddle uh, ranks and uh, one of the most entertaining players to play with and against because he is very casual about pretty much everything. Nothing ever rattles that guy. Anyway, so Morgan and Barnes are going to take on Mitch Granger. Say it, say it, Cal. The Grange Rover. Yeah, I was going to say you Home can't. Home on the Grange. Just, yeah, there you go. So, Mitch Granger, and that's he's the one in the black cap right there. And the, I would call that lavender, maybe, purple. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, it's you a know, nice, it's a nice, my uh, wife helps me get dressed every morning. Don't, don't read into that. Uh, but anyway, and then his partner, that is Mitch Granger's partner, is the, there, when I say, we talk about legend, there is no legend like Ben McKnight, the uh, icon that is Ben McKnight. And uh, so this is going to be a great match. And by the way, it's not just these four guys. The cool thing about the legends is there's matches going on all over this club. Um, and all of the players that are in the uh, in in the league match are yeah. unbelievable players. So it's again like watching an all-star game. And it is entertaining. We got kind of a full house here at Inverness, so this ought to be pretty cool. Yeah, let's take a quick moment to thank our sponsors. Obviously, the uh, CBTC live stream wouldn't exist without Illinois Bone and Joint, nope. Viking Paddle, and Wintrust Community Banks. We'll hear a little bit more from Wintrust and IBJI and some of the changeovers and the set breaks. But uh, until then, I like keep them calling IBJI like that, Cal. That's very hip. Call it an Illinois Bone and Joint Institute, IBJI. I always thought that was it. Yeah, I just figured I'd take this opportunity to say that. That's yeah, about all. I, I uh, that's all I got right I've there. I've been there about. Let's move on. Twenty times. <laughs> I like to break my feet. So. You, you seriously don't break your feet? No, I've broken. I've no, broken you, each ankle. How can you break your feet? You weigh like forty pounds. Yeah, dude. and I have dainty little lady feet. <laughs> all right, we didn't mean that, ladies. If you're no, listening. No, that's not insulting. I know. To well, it sounded. It could have been. So My we got to watch. I'm just saying. 
Anyway, so the players have warmed up. Uh, I believe the spin has already taken place. And what I mean by that, I don't mean politically. I mean they spin the racket to see who serves first. No, he means that politically. All right, stop. See, we're just going to get into more trouble now, this way. Yeah, now we're getting it. All right, so. Unfortunately, Mr. McClure, who is really the heart and soul of this whole operation. Yeah, I know. He's uh, not with us tonight. He's down for the count. No, he's, he's uh, no longer with us. COVIDed out, man. Yeah. This is the way things happen. These days is 2024. We got to get used to it. I got to get used to it. I'm the older guy. You're generation. I, I mean, was, what is the next letter after Z? I mean, that's where you are, basically. You know, and so I'm old enough to be your grandfather. Tell that yeah. to the Romans. <laughs> All right, looks like Mitch Granger is going to be starting the, the proceedings off here. Let's see how we do. Already stays back. Well, attack from Adam Morgan there. You like it. Me likey. Good reset Now, there. Sean, we've had the pleasure of watching uh, Adam Morgan play with Tyler Frazier probably about 15 times in the live stream uh, at various APTA tournaments. Yep. What would you say here, because traditionally Adam likes to kind of let Tyler play a little bit more offense, do you think we're going to see Adam stepping up tonight? It's a great, I mean, you know what, I, got, I, I have to, I don't want to insult you. That was a great move from Ben McKnight to move in and uh, super hands from Girani, which is not uncommon. But to answer your question, I uh, first of all, I got to give you a compliment without sounding cheesy. That was actually a great question because you're absolutely right. It is something to think about. Uh, you know, you, there is a chemistry issue uh, with paddle and uh, with platform. And uh, when you're used to playing with somebody on a regular basis, sometimes the communication can be an issue. And then sometimes it's just a matter of instinctively, do you take something down the middle or do they take it? But it looks like Adam and Girani kind of pretty much have that down. Yeah. And they played together before. I mean, right. I'm not right. saying there's a bromance going on out there. I'm just telling you that they played together before. And so, you know, I, I, I think uh, they, they'll have their, uh, their act together. It's a great roller, by the way. For those of you playing at home, that was like six inches from the baseline for Mitch Granger. He likes to keep the ball deep. Like we don't we all, but he's really good at it. You know, I don't know what that's like, by the way, Cal. Usually, yeah, yeah. My mine is if I get near the service line, I'm celebrating. Good loss. Yeah. All oh, right. Now I mean, it's it's tricky conditions out there as well. A little uh, sure. slippery. I also like the fact that McKnight allowed Granger to take that last ball. That's another uh, crucial factor. You want to make sure that there's. Or even the unspoken communication going. If the ball's over a certain shoulder, it's pretty much like that would be Ben's ball. Even at this level, there is something to be said for that. Probably say that in every telecast, but that's not the point. And yes, I called it a telecast. I know. The telecast. You, you would th yeah, you would think that you'd like that considering your affinity for the guitar, Cal. But anyway. Well, it just, it ages us. And I don't know if we can afford that. I can't afford it, is what you're saying. Right. It's okay. That's a great shot. Oh. Look at that. Mitch and, Granger. And we saw... Pulling out the Ginsu. How did he... I, wow, that was well, impressive. Well, we watched him practicing that pretty much his whole warm-up. Yeah, but that was off so the backhand side. I, all right. Anyway, that's great take, shot. I mean, yeah, he came prepared. He did, apparently. It's a very atmospheric night tonight as well. I don't know if... Uh, Are we at 15 all, by the way? I think so, yeah. Okay, just make it sure, because it... I don't see it on the scoreboard there, but I, I, you know, oh, I right. have not yeah. left. I haven't, you there know, I'm just, Am oh, I? yes. And Ben says, you know what? I'll, I'll see you and raise you. That was, a, that was a great cutter. Man, I think came back over the net. Those are my favorite. All right, so 30 all. So how quickly things can happen in paddle. And how slowly. Good driver. By the way, one Jeez. of the best drivers of the, the the platform tennis ball, Adam Morgan. Yeah. And you just saw it there. Guy's got beautiful strokes. Not only that, he hits a ball, we call it a mix, a perfect mix of top spin and pace on the ball. Uh-oh. And you know what? I'm going to tell you, I'll, I'll just say it. Not that Girani did not contribute because he had that great flex volley that got back early in the game. But you got to hand it to Adam, I think that yeah. drive is what basically won that game. Because I don't think Mitch, when he started out the game, they were doing pretty well. He didn't think he was going to get a break point. And I think anybody, we've all been there, where you know, you're know you thinking, geez, I, I blink and I'm down 30-40. You know, I better not miss this serve. Yeah, 
Well, well, he'll get better. He always did. He's a the, well, not only one of the best players in the nation, but Mitch Granger, one of the nicest guys you'll ever see on a paddle court, ever meet on a paddle court. Unquestionably, yeah, as uh, someone I know would say. It's kind of cool. There we go. A lot of water. And it is not raining, folks. That was just condensation off the top bar of the of the screen. So. Even though we are supposed to get a little bit of precipitation, we were, look at that, McKnight with the, oh, Jeez. Jimmy Connors, well, from the right side, because Jimmy was actually left. I just think that it kind of looks a little like Jimmy when he does that. That's why. It's even though this, for sure. Yeah, even though Jimmy didn't necessarily play platform, he would have been great. I've only watched one match of Jimmy Connors. Have you? And it was him against McEnroe. At least you watched one, Cal. I I'm watched so the proud. highlights of it. Gosh, I'm so proud of you. I'm not. I'm not going to get that. I'm not, too, not too emotionally. Busy, too, well, right. Yeah. Too yeah. busy watching uh, Federer. Yeah. Roger Federer. By the way, you you will see these guys. Some of you that play in the leagues in and around the Chicago area in some of the uh, either single or double digit series because these guys are mostly series one players. Oh, what a shot! It's super, super move by Mitch Granger there. But you will see these guys swing the ball a lot. I know when we instructors are on the court with you, uh, some of you will tell you probably shouldn't be doing that. You should concentrate on one side on a regular basis just to keep yourself in position. But these guys are good enough where they shift. And maybe that's another lesson for everybody here that when you watch them shift, uh, they're shifting because the ball is moved. And they're always moving with the ball. So there's always a anticipation. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like he's he's going corner to corner, and he's able to get away with that because Girani is already ready for whatever reply is there. Right. They're all thinking uh, one step ahead. Oh, yeah. Like a carpenter who makes stairs. <laughs> Speed. Oh, uh, you know what? The effort was there. It is. A for effort. It's good range for Morgan picking that volley off would have gotten around a normal person and I mean that in a like a Jedi way I don't mean like he's right, abnormal yeah, of course. I didn't mean it that way alright alright so 30-40 and a break point so they were saying anything you can do I can do better they got a break point themselves McKnight and Granger let's see if they capitalize on it. well you know what they say Sean I, you know what I, I can't wait to hear it's only a break if you hold that's right that's what they say that right there. So we'll see if these guys are able to. Uh... No, and, and so far, I'm really loving the chemistry on both sides. In other words, I think this is going to be a pretty tight match. Yeah, for sure. Listen, oh, look at that. The joint, the, the joint lob, so to speak. Twice the power. Makes it in a sense. Usually, this don't go in. Usually, you got to pay extra for that cut, so... Somebody said that went it's in bold. there. That bit, unbelievable. It's a bold strategy. He's off the deck, too. Let's get some hops. Oops. Okay, so Gerani Barnes, you will not, you know, you'll notice this every so often. He actually can drive the backhand, too, but he mostly chips it because he's got an incredible slice backhand. Sure. But he has got the sneakiest, fast, or sneaky, uh, big forehand drive. Like, he takes a very short backswing, but I'm telling you, Kind of like Brad Smith yeah, in a way. Say the or, yeah, because he, the, the ball just jumps off the paddle. So you got to watch that with Barnes. If you're building the wall, you got to make sure you're watching the ball the whole time. That almost rhymed there, Cal. And nobody Ooh. wants to hear me rap. Just a little wide there. And a and break we've back. Got bamboo shoots. Love them. Love them. You know what? Let's let's order up for Chinese. Yeah. I say, I love it. I've, that sounds like a great idea. It always sounds like a great idea. Look at me. I think that was a practice serve, dude. But you know what? You're right. We still want to root. Never root against anybody. So I'm not sure what you're talking about, but uh... <laughs> no, somebody, oh. somebody behind me thought it was oh. the fault. But it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, it was a great waterfall. Yeah, well, thankfully, yeah. Talk about yeah. What do they say? Niagara horseshoe, whatever you want to call it, Ruby. Ruby Ridge. Chance. Hey, look. Oh. I love how he made the most difficult one and then kind of missed. It wasn't an easy volley, that poach, poach but it no, was not at all. amazing. All right, 30 love, 30 love. 
Way to one time that, Girani. Most people let that hit the back screen. He's like, nah, I can handle it. Okay, so that's that forehand I'm talking about. Not necessarily a laser beam, but he put so much top on it that you're almost you're almost going to hesitate. Maybe you think you're going to volley it because it's shoulder high, let it fly. That's always been a rule. But the way these guys put top on the ball these days, if it's shoulder high, you can't always let it fly because it may just right bite back spin down. back in. Yeah. yeah. And if you had your CPTC live bingo sheet, that was certainly on there. We've been talking a lot about that recently. We have. I always lose a bingo, Cal. Yeah, it's it's a game of I, skill. Matter of fact, I, I don't and I think don't I, have the skill for no, it. I'm, I'm no good at cards either. Just you know, the only thing I'm really good for, I figured it out, are younger relatives. I can play board games. What a get! Board game with, with them and lose, and then they love it. We like Uncle Sean because he loses. Good roller. Look at the air that. Uh, that Mitch could put on a roller, man. Yeah, that's serious top. All right, okay, and I'm gonna say it because it needs to be said. We will, as instructors say, we want you to lob, you know, the light, maybe as high as the lights if you can get there. You'll notice every so often you'll see that from these guys, all four of them, but every so often you'll also just see kind of a line drive lob. And they are varying the trajectory of their lobs deliberately, just FYI. That stayed in. The touch, oh! You hate to see that happen. I gotta tell you we got away with it. Yeah. Because Morgan doesn't miss, period, let alone volleys, but anyway. So 40, 50, or I should say 15, 40. And a break. Or are we at 40? Wait a minute, are we 40, 30? Are you getting this right? No. No. Okay, I was going to say. I'm not I'm sure, sure how this I is the score I, because I'm pretty sure Mitch got that volley out. Yeah. And then someone hit another one all out. Right. I thought, well, whatever. That's all right. Sir. It's definitely a 30-40 now. Well, so that's, I could try to turn the mic up out there, but I don't think they're calling it's it. It's going to make any difference. Yeah. Bend... Uh, I think it's fair to say Granger from night team definitely has the height advantage. Uh, yeah. But you know what? Technically, oh, even though it was, oh, wow, that thing slid off kind of a seamer, as we say, on the seam of those screens, kind of slid off the seam there. And it was 30-40, so it is yeah, deuce, deuce now, and they're going. I like the Australian slash high. Look at, wow, look at the getting involved. you got to love Granger. They always say, oh, coach of mine, he was a tennis coach, but nonetheless, a great tennis coach, the uh, the venerable Jerry Carson would always say, good volleyers get involved, man. And sometimes there are uh, shots or balls that are not yours, that you may not want to reach out and get in platform. Percentage-wise, we tell you not to necessarily reach for a volley. Body block it if you can. Wow, got away with it. So there's Unbelievable. another break. Another break of serve. AC Ducey. Can anyone hold... What's the Las Vegas line say? Uh, are you? You're not. A, you're not a gambling dude, are you? I'm, no, that's what. Yeah, never. Never sports bet. You I know still what, don't I'd, really understand and what yet the you negative seem like, like nine point five. I'm gonna try to take that as a compliment, but no, no. I, I mean possible. that as a compliment. It sounded like I was bashing you a little bit there. I like to waste my money on things I know are a waste instead of <laughs> hoping that I'll get money and just wasting it anyways. Yeah. So, I got you. When do you get married? Okay, you... well, we've got uh, we've got Jerani Barnes here on the, uh, let's see if we can get the drip cam out, because this guy's dripped out right now. He's got a, is that a Back to the Future hat? It is. He's got a Back to the Future hat and matching, matching yes. shirt. I mean, that is. Long sleeve. And he's got I'm a digging He's it. got a chain on, too. I look, no, look, look you, here's That's the thing. Style. Cal, you got to have your own style out there. I'm not just talking about platform anyway. Any, any of the racket sports, man. You play pickle or tennis. You gotta have your own your, your own uh, Mac. I mean, is it is it bad for a guy me, like me saying Mac? I don't know. Am I? Do I sound? You hipper? know, I heard. I've ne I'd never heard somebody say Mac until I, I was watching a video a while back. I forgot who said it. It was it's an older gentleman from, as well. But that's uh, from thank you, Kel. See, that was a backhanded compliment, I guess. Uh, so we got 15 love here. Yeah. 
two serving one Huge looking for the hit. first hole hold. And you know what? Most of the time, like I said, Morgan will come up with that, but that was just too quick a chicken wing. It's like a microwave wing. Uh-oh. Look at that. No panic in the man. He one-times it. That's talent. Usually, like I said, we're told to let those go to the screen. That's a nice touch. He's dying in the corner. Yep. Like me at the prom. Look at the... Oh. That was a nice lob. That's that laser beam forehand I'm talking about. A little compact backswing. I just find it entertaining, Cal. I'm sorry. They should have charged a mission for me right here. That's what. 30-15. Right. I like. I'm liking the Australian. Yeah, both teams are opting right. for it. Oh. I'll tell you what, McKnight is just key. He's locked in on that backhand side. Yeah. Not that he meant to hit a left court well, winner, no, but, well, but he's just, he's, he's playing he's with the nets. For the, yeah, he's aiming yeah. for that. He's got like, well, what a shot. Oh! I like the idea from Barnes, though. And, and as he well, does that, okay, that's, that's going to make another break point. Or the, no, I'm sorry, that's they already game. Broke. They right, broke we're, already. We're that was 15. This. That's all right. This is fantastic. I'm just too excited to keep the score straight. Man. Yeah. So. <laughs> that clip, no, maybe not. Uh, it was just a little wide. Yeah, a little wide. Okay, so is it well me or are break. we getting some uh, precip out there? It no, looks see, that's foggy. It's, it's foggy, but every time the door opens, I'm smelling smoke. So I think they might be grilling out there. All right. So you I'm think sure. you think what we're seeing is is uh, no it, charcoal it, goodness? No, I think saying. that's I think that's contributing. All but right, on the right. drive over here, it does when it was still light. Though. Well, yeah. There was definitely some, some but fog look at from me. the temperature uh, differential. Do I not eat especially grilled food and lots of it? Good lob. There's that chip back in I was telling you about from Girani. We just kind of, we call it a knockdown in, in the racket sports industry where the ball's about shoulder height and you're able to chip it, which really makes the ball uh, rise, but if you're able to get, a, as we say, get on top of it with your backswing, you can actually make it uh, dip. <laughs> There's that toss for back again. Yep. Oh, get over. Oh. Just, just a split second in decision from, again, Morgan, uncharacteristic, usually he's on top of those. Well, not as if that was an easy shot. No, it wasn't by any stretch. But of the no, but he makes but the extraordinary look. No, it's true. Ordinary, so he's talented. Nice shot. Look at that, Granger. I'm telling you, I think Granger's got like a four foot vertical or something. Yeah, he he does he doesn't skip leg day. That's no, for sure. he just gets up. So, yeah, and he doesn't. He just doesn't even look like he's trying. He's already up you know, in the stratosphere. I can see the soles. What a shot! There we go. Adam's like, don't forget about my backhand. Great shot. All right. 15.30. Kind of following the same pattern we had before. Ronnie attempted to take that on the rise. It kind of was minor the successful. What a drive. He's got one of the least effort lobs I've ever seen. Who? Uh, oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And he nails it every no, single time. He's just silk, baby. Nice. And McKnight apparently was a high-level soccer player, so it's not like he can't jump out of the gym either. No, not at all. Sit down. Almost. By the way, when I'm rooting for these shots, I'm not rooting for anybody in particular, Cal, just in case we get some hate mail. Yeah. Well, well, I get hate mail anyway, but I right, just want to make less. sure yeah, I get we'll less. Try to dial it yeah, back. We'll try yeah. To, yeah, right. right. I got you. Good communication from Morgan. Almost went into... Uh, Family Guy impression there. Yeah. Wow. All right, we got the shot clock going on this puppy. The drive, good. Dri there we go. Just backed him up. That was like a one-two punch, Cal. If we get the, I don't know if you want to replay there. Yeah, oh, it's one-two. So you back him up. Well, you didn't see okay, that, but great. you back replay. him up. That's all right. Back him up with the lob. Just slightly back in the take to drive on the rise and catch him off the net. 
That's a great drive, too. Look at this. This guy's putting on a clinic. All right, you know, pay at the door for this. My gosh. The cool thing about this Legends format, by the way, and if you just joined us, we are at uh, the lovely Inverness Golf Club in Inverness, Illinois. Uh, and we are watching uh, four kind of legends, if you will. Masters, a good leave any, for any Morgan. kind of about it, yeah. yeah. And there's another break. That, wow. So Not technically one speaking, hold. we're on serve technically, if they keep yeah. breaking. We're on break, basically. Yeah, we're on break. In a sense. In a sense. And we'll uh, be right back. <laughs> Are we going to be right back? Yeah, we are going to be right back. We're going to take a word from Wintrust. All right. Not your bank's top priority? Here at Wintrust, we take a different approach to banking. No hidden fees or runarounds, but a true banking partner focused on your unique financial goals. Whether you're opening your first account, found your dream home, planning for the future, or starting a business, we have the financial solutions to get you there. Stop settling and start experiencing a better way to bank. Win trust, different approach, better results. One, and we are back. Back right oh. in the middle of the rally. Yeah, all you missed was the game. That's it. What Todd? Oh, okay, here's a cool thing for those of you watching at home. Jeronny Barnes did not hit that volley hard, and he did that deliberately. You hit it too hard, it can come back, and Mitch can play that off the screen as a screen drive or a lob, but he hit it just softly enough that he just kind of dies off the back screen. That was just smart. And you get a feel for that type of stuff in platform after a while. What a, look at that big, great dig. Yeah. Mitch Granger, sort of like the, uh, I mean, his footwork is just phenomenal. Yeah, you know what? It's funny. Guys that were uh, that are really great rackets players, and all four, uh, all four of these guys qualify. For sure, uh, will bring a lot of tennis uh, to the, p the platform court, and that's where the footwork comes in. And footwork, make no mistake about it, is important in platform. I'm not going to say it's as important as it is in maybe other racket sports like tennis. Sure. Because you're actually not supposed to step into your volleys on a regular basis on a platform court. Uh, at least we tell you not to, only because it just takes up a little too much time and you get too much momentum, and you're really trying to just put the paddle on the ball. Right. We like to say, we call it a body block. In other words, you just don't even move the paddle. You move the I love the other, okay. What oh. hustle, speed. I mean, like I said, flash. We're going DC Comics with Mitch Granger there. Yeah, that was I like Ben's move. It's just, you know, Jirani read it like hooked on phonics, baby. Let's go up. One other thing. Okay, the last two lobs, weren't, that was nicer, weren't the, uh, the deepest lobs, but in platform, and I'm going to say it, I'm not ashamed of it, Cal. You know, you could, I know you're not crazy about it. When I take chances like this, it's really not a chance at all. I'm just kidding. But even a, even a shallow lob is a better shot in in uh, platform, then trying to hit the baseline. You may as well give him a chance to miss it. Okay, again, uh, Adam is just a, he's not, he's not on the, uh, playing his A game necessarily, and I'm not giving him any excuses, but he doesn't usually miss that underhand serve. It's another thing. Well, oh. so. You know, they, they, had, they had some points to play with. Yep. You know, it's not a. Uh, it's a good point there, Cal. Adam's got the ice in the veins. I feel like he's a excellent you know, contribution. If that, if that was add out, he's not missing that. Yeah. I love that lob, the location that is from Granger, just over Adam Morgan's left shoulder, but kind of first almost, hold. almost over his head, and a hold. Hallelujah! It happened. 4-2. Yeah, 4-2 for uh, Adam Morgan and, Morgan and Jerani Barnes. Just wide. Okay, so McKnight hits a huge kick serve. Yeah. But even though it's 30 degrees, that thing is still kicking. It's not, and I don't mean like, like, like spicy, even though we could say it that way. I mean that thing's still kicking. Sometimes you can hit a kick serve too hard, especially up the tee, because Adam can absolutely take a huge swipe at it. Like right, now yeah, he didn't decide to do it that time. But that's the idea. So he, he, sometimes there is such a thing as my point, and there is a point that I was trying to make, Al, 
But uh, I know it's unbelievable. We'll there eventually. Yeah, I know, apparently. Look at Sharani blitzing. Unbelievable. It's Fred Warner. I'm trying to think of a, is there a Fred linebacker. Fred Warner. Roquan Smith. Yeah. I don't know. Ray uh, Lewis. Brian, Brian Erlacher. I was going to go. I'm, uh, I'm just thinking great linebackers from, you know, Chicago. Oh, from Chicago. Well, okay. I mean, I just, not that they're not great anyway, the guys who play for the Bears. What a shot that's in there. That's what I'm talking about. Morgan. And that's probably, Sean, as, as, break. as you guys like to say pretty much every match, probably a little too fast there those last couple of games. Yeah, you can – yeah, you can – sometimes we talk about slowing slowing it down, not necessarily taking the full 20, you know, 25, 20, 25 seconds between points, but just slowing the pace of the rallies down. You know, that's the cool thing about not serving that hard sometimes is if you don't supply pace, they can't do much with it. Like right there, Gerani's gonna. I love that. That was a slick switch from McKnight and uh, Granger. Granger there. That's good. Anyway, so Barnes, Gerani Barnes, and Adam Morgan. And once again, if you just joined us, that's who you're watching on the near side here. You're watching Legends Platform here in the Chicagoland area where we're at uh, the fabulous Landmark Layton. Inverness Golf Club in Inverness, Illinois. We're watching Adam Morgan and Gerani Bournes. Bournes. Did I say Bournes? Born Identity. Bournes and Noble. That's right. Nice. That's boy. I tell you what, you are a clever man. Young man, great. But, yeah. but clever man nonetheless. All right. Just, I think a, little that's just a little long. Missed yeah. it. So right, 15, 15 all. all. I mean, this is pretty obviously. This is a pretty important game here. Yeah. Pretty important juncture in the set. By the way, the person just hit the forehand there. That was Mitch Granger, and Ben McKnight is in the white on the far side, hitting that backhand volley. No, this is like getting, a, go ahead. Go. I don't want to get ahead of myself at all because we're very much still in this. But right now, let's say that uh, Granger and McKnight lose the set. What's yeah. your big adjustment for that? Well, you know what? Let's let's cross that bridge, Cal. Because I, I, you just never know with paddle. You know what I'm saying? Right. But what adjustments can they make right now? It was what I was getting at. Uh, if, if if you if they would be making this adjustment at the set, what's to say right you couldn't now? do it in this game here? You know, or if I, you're down five two, are you not? If you're are you're not thinking about adjustments yet, you're still trying to yes get your get a feel out for it. I would. And the, the other thing is, there we go. Now there are two points for the set here. But one of the things that we talked about, and there goes Dave Bukowski, the, which, by the way, this, this Legends format is awesome because you've got literally maybe two or three courts, I want to say, yeah. of full of players that, like I said, you'd see on the national stage. So it's, it's just a treat, you know, if you, if you ever want to watch really, really high-level paddle. This is a great format. Well, yeah, and shout-out to Andrew Ong for kind of running it. this thing. Yeah. I know. It's awesome. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe he had something to do with the concept, too. Knowing how creative and intelligent that kid is wouldn't surprise me. But, yeah, yeah, shout-out to him because he apparently he is the one kind of managing the the format. Yeah. Uh, by the way, to, to uh, give you a uh, kind of an answer, because right now it looks like Double we've got a point. set point here. And I'd like to wait just to see how this ends because maybe... Yeah. Maybe it, it doesn't end the way you think it might, Dirk. No, not at all. It's a great drive. And we got the first set here. Wow. Okay, that was that was relatively quick. Yeah. Four paddles. But anyway, so we gotta take a break here again. Oh us for some uh, commercial yeah, messages and we'll be back. Yeah. Tinverness Golf Club in a second. Hi everyone, my name is Faith. I'm an athletic trainer for Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. Today we're gonna to talk about ACL injuries and how it relates to paddle. I'm sure everyone's heard of the ACL, but in case you don't know what that stands for, ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament. It's a huge stabilizer in your knee. Essentially, it keeps your knee, so your shin bone, your tibia, 
from pulling anteriorly, so forward on your thigh bone, your femur, and it keeps you stable when doing dynamic activities. This can get torn uh, from a couple different mechanisms. So one being quick and aggressive deceleration, knee hyperextension, or um, a plant and twist or valgus, uh, letting your knee cave inwards towards your midline um, mechanism. From the heart of Chicago, up to the North Shore, and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. And we're back. <laughs> WNBC. Are we allowed to say that? or we No, you can I mean, you could say it if you want to. How, wait a minute, are you a Howard Stern guy? Not at all. I just watched the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you get the... I'm a big Paul Giamatti fan now. Yeah, you know, he he's up for, for best uh, for best actor this year for his movie, role in The Holdovers, which I never saw. Never and saw I never will. But, congratulate. How can you not like the guy? No, he's a great actor. All right, so... We're here, ready on the set for the second set. Ben McKnight from Land serving. Landmark written. Yes, landmark Inverness, laden. Illinois. Inverness, Illinois. Yeah. Uh, we can go back on tape. Steeped in, look at this, old. that's going to work. Steeped in tradition. What a hands. I love it. Taking a quick, uh, quick wing stop. <laughs> wing stop. <laughs> really? I guess so. Yeah, also... Unfortunately, the great Matt McClure not here with us, but no, he's here not. in spirit, although it's not showing, because uh, we are blowing this. <laughs> but we have a great match here between the oh, it doesn't fall. the nationally ranked Adam Morgan, Jerani Barnes, Mitch Granger, and Ben McKnight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all nationally ranked. Oh no, no every every one I mean, absolutely. I, they're all that's in there. Incredible players Speed. here at the Legends event. We're talking range. We're talking Grange. Yeah. That kind of worked. Anyway. So Ben McKnight serving in the white. Mitch Granger in the Whoa. lavender, as you said. Yeah, I can, that's what I call Just lavender. A little bit I don't out. know. Periwinkle? I don't know. Periwinkle. And then we've got Jerani Barnes here about to receive yeah. serve. And Adam Morgan on the other side of the court with the stylish white hat. Not to be confused with the incredibly stylish Back to the Future hat. From Jerani, yes. I'm from the future. Yeah. Technically, he does. He kind of plays like he's one step ahead. Nice. All right, so before the break, uh, Cal, you asked if uh, there was uh, maybe a strategy that maybe McKnight and Granger could employ that might uh, stem the tide, maybe um, get things going the other direction. Like Their a direction sandcastle. Again. Exactly. Um, when the uh, waves. Honestly, I'm not sure. Waves. I'm not sure that where that now where they're at that's where i would keep them number one and you've got to you've got to make sure that the pace because jirani and um and adam are fantastic off the pace it's not like they don't have hands or whatever but i almost like this right here what they're doing sometimes players in a team can get really comfortable playing deep from the baseline or whatever you might want to say okay you know what we're not getting anywhere when they're at the baseline yeah let's bring them in you know, which is not uh, too difficult to do all the time, but you just have to do that. The other thing is, and it's just a matter of keeping the ball away from that wing right there. Not that it's a picnic on on uh, on Adam's backhand side, but once you go wide, especially um, if it kicks up uh, in paddle or in platform uh, on the do side. It, it, it opens up the court so many different ways. And so sometimes just serving up the tee or at least up the middle of the box can help. That's a great slice. So I'm already liking this right here. Well, and, and do you th what was the big change, would you say, because we were pretty level at the start. I think it was like 2-2. Two, two. We were on break, on serve. Yeah. And, and uh, well, Adam and Jirani just kind of started to run away with it. Well, i tell you what, what happens, and I said it before. Like, both of them at the net right there are very steady. Their hands are real good. So yeah. the driving, like, if you remember, McKnight was really, like, right there. McKnight was really planting that 
Jeez. Split that flat back in, crease in the uh, return on a regular basis. Yeah. When you get that rolling, that's fantastic. The problem is, you know, the, the timing all of a sudden shows up on the Barnes and Morgan side, and the, then it's now, okay, now what do we do? Because you can't necessarily out hit them or hit through them. Uh, so I would think I'd, I'd like to see a few more deeper lobs as well. Even if they take a few chances, I'm talking about McKnight and Grandy. Yeah. You know, and then, again, who am I? There we go. It just gets there. We go because, as you said before, not that Morgan and Barnes are are technically short. They're no. they're just they're 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 not as tall. So in a way, it might should be easier, even though they're really quick getting back to make them uh, maybe do a cartwheel or whatever. That's going to be red, but it's tough. It's so tough to hit a, a drive off a ball like that. I give Granger uh, credit for even trying that. But I'm just saying, sometimes a deeper lob, even though you're actually taking a chance on it, having to go you know, over the baseline, a deeper lob will pull them off the net, at least pull one of them off the net, and then all of a sudden you can drive the ball. Yeah. I mean, literally, if you think about it, you're, if you're driving a, 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 at a wall all the time, it's, especially if guys, they're, they're, their hands as good as Barnes and uh, Morgan, it's just going to be a tough it's going to be a tough road, man. But let's just see. But, yeah, just a, uh, you know, uh, there maybe even more than that. The other thing is, and I'm not saying these guys are in such good shape anyway, it doesn't really matter. Like, that's not a bad idea to drive it, but I still say I would like to get both of them off the net before you have to drive. And, again, who am I? Ben McKnight. I think Ben McKnight's whole family is better than I am at platform. But not the, the point I'm trying to make is if you're asking me what I would do, that's one of the things. Right? Trying to set up that one-two punch you were yeah, talking about earlier. Absolutely. Because if, if you can get – you're looking. So there we go. That's a good lob. If you can get – Adam and or Jirani off the service line. And that might open up a drive, a little bit better drive. This is, there's a switch. I was waiting for that. I was like, what's uh, Granger doing on the do side there? Usually he likes playing the ad, at least when he's playing with Ben for right now. What a get. That's tough. Way to play the Nick there, Ben. Okay, there we go. I just, just missed the drive, though. Okay, but the thing is, at least they were in position where you could take control of the net, and that was a drivable ball. So 30 love. Points are lasting a little longer. you got to say that that would be uh, a good idea for, uh, for that's just got so much tossing on it, man. Yeah. He is a maestro. I almost feel like if he just clears the net with everything, it's nothing's going wrong. And I know you want to keep it low, you know, but. Yeah. Well, right. I mean, that's uh, that's at least tennis. Better. The tennis 101. Yeah. Better to miss yeah, long I, than I love, that. I love that move, even though Adam's quick enough to recover. I still like that move. Pushed him off the net like that. You, you keep going. Just because you do get a deep enough lob where you're getting your opponents to transgress, you, you might say, over the service line a little bit more. Uh, there we go. That's good good hands for Girani. Uh That doesn't mean you've got to drive the ball. It's just that you want to get into position where you can. That's a better lob. Yeah, when we uh, coach a lot, and uh, I'm taking a page out of Peter Burke's uh, book here, who's, by the way, playing tonight, too. Yeah. Um, we sometimes uh, grab a, a, a rope or some type of clothesline or whatever, and we, we, we literally hang it from one a light post to the other one on the near side, and your job is to lob over that rope on the near side. In other words, you can't go underneath it. You gotta, and that gives you a little bit more of an idea of how to loft it up like that. That would have been perfect right there. That, that just, wow. Morgan's starting to roll a little bit. And I mean that only because he hit that nick, because he was definitely going for that. So a two-love lead. I like the fact that, okay, they're doing, I would I would take a, no, see, I'd even, I'd even uh, go a little longer with, yeah, with the, uh, with the conversation there, but maybe they already know what's going on. Because I just don't, I think the, the rhythm, if it's faster, it plays in Barnes and, and uh, Morgan's favor. Yeah. That's just me. Well, at least, uh, at, Mr. This, Vegas at least at this juncture. 
good serve for Mitch Granger. But that's how it works, Sean. It yeah. can change. In the words of Pat Benatar, it's the rhythm of the night. <laughs> Gotta watch yourself. <laughs> yes. You're a heartbreaker. Okay, then again, again, you do not see Ben McKnight missing volleys like that on a regular basis. He wouldn't get the success rate he has by doing that, so that's an aberration. So obviously not bringing his A game, but I think he can still have a shot here. And I still think that's Perry Winkle. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 what I'm saying is that top, I think we call it Perry Winkle. Anyway. I'm just trying to, the thing is, maybe Lavender's cooler, but I don't know. What's, what's cooler to say? I think it's just purple. All right, whatever. Well, no, it's because it is blue. That it's, yeah, yeah, it's kind it's, of a bluish. Yeah, I know. Man, it's a great drive. I'm going with Lavender. Personally. It's just a great drive. He takes it so early. Such a short backswing. Those of you watching at home, that just gives you an idea. Of a, 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 um, uh, a compact backswing, and, uh, usually uh, preferable in platform. Mitch Granger hitting the, the Roddick serve. Yeah, I know. That thing was moving. Yeah, the cool thing sometimes with... Uh, with platform is we can put so much spin on the ball sometimes that that's great hands up there. Oh, look at the sky hook. Oh. Sit. Wow. You know what's funny? Here's what happened. So Girani hits his drive and it curls down and and, and Mitch Granger's got to dip, dip the volley up. Got to get underneath the ball. And he couldn't stay up on the net. And the next thing you know, Morgan takes the next one on the rise right at him. Uh, and nobody was going to make that volley because he wasn't close enough to the net to actually take it at that level. So intelligent plan on both Barnes and uh, Morgan's part there. That is a cool Back to the Future shirt, man. I'm digging it. By the way, I... I'm a New Balance guy, and I'm, I'm kind of envious of uh, those shoes. I'm just saying. You think they make them in my size? What am I, a 15 now? Nice. Like triple E. Yeah. Well, when you get to be as chubby as I am, Cal, you know, look at that. It, it all goes to your feet, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious it doesn't all go to my feet, Cal. I could, I could live with being a hobbit. That's just a smart drive. Again, up the middle. It's not like Ben wasn't even in position. Sometimes, though, an up-the-middle volley, there's just a slight hesitation because you're thinking, okay, is that my volley? Even the best players in the nation, dare I say, dare I say the world, do that. There's just a slight hesitation going up the middle. Oh, one-hander. Okay, see, you know, that's, just, that's just making me laugh. Considering, I think Adam's one hitter is better than mine. He's got a two hand. Oh, CBTC bingo. <laughs> so we're getting close. We just need to mention a. Uh, you name it, I'll well, just do it, just to get it out of the way. HCA. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sean you're not going to get any. You're not going to get that tonight because no, I don't right, think because Cliff Marsland is not out there. Cliff Marsland is the, uh, the, 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 the 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 one of the coolest guys. Director here at Inverness Golf Club. Great dude. Um, yeah, well, knowing him, he's, he's on... Uh, he's got quite a history. He does, actually. He was in... Uh, he was at Bell Reeve Country Club in uh, Missouri, which, by the way, is a, is a famous golf mecca down there. He held uh, major championships down there, just so you know. So he's hopping from... Uh, down in misery. Yeah. Great tennis player, by the way. Look at the hands. Come on. Come on. Like I said, like the, the force is strong in that one. Because usually, I mean, that, that's going to fly on everybody else. That volley. So somebody asked this in the live stream uh, chat. At one point, I, I want to address it. It's kind of funny. So they said, you know, should you get a new paddle every year or every other year? Um, do paddles... Uh, break down. 
like do the, do, do the materials kind of get older and whatever. That's that top and four I was talking about. So look at look at all that action on that thing. I don't know. I'm just. I mean, I don't mean to be you know obvious about it, but I swear, Mitch Granger's like, don't miss any forehand in the net because there's no way it's going long with all that top. Well, anyway, uh, yes, there is such a thing as paddle breakdown. But here's the funny part. Sometimes that's what certain players prefer. Like that might be, oh, well, this might be the first unforced error, so to speak, that Girani's actually made. Amazing. Anyway, so there, here's a break point. I don't usually make it point. that far into a game, here's let a alone a match. <laughs> the break point. It's a great move. That's just a great move from Granger. You want to talk about timely Fantastic shot. poaching. Awesome. Well, anyway, the, I just know some some of the best players in the nation will still have paddles that they've had for like four years. Why? Because they like the feel. Because you, you take a new one out there, and there's going to be a little bit more life to it that just happens. Which, by the way, some of the Viking stuff, you know, as a matter of fact, everybody's making really good paddles, but I mean, obviously, they're one of our sponsors. If you grab a, like a Reignite Pro or something, and you, you grab an older one and a new one, they both have a nice feel to them, especially if they're still in pretty good shape. But definitely the newer one's going to have a little more life to it. Great drive from Morgan, man. Not only that, so not only can he go up the middle on that one, but he can find the chicken wing on uh, the right hip of uh, McKnight. So the right, that's the one I'm talking about, and he missed it again. So I jinxed him. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Adam. All right, so 15:30. Shut. That's better. So that was the other only other thing I was going to mention, Cal. Is, it, is this a lot of these overheads that are going side back screen? If you get used to them, and Gerani's can do it all day. Gerani keep it all day. That was a great shot, though. That was well timed. Yeah. But every so often, just a reset, just a plain old like air under it, reset down the middle of the court, just to reposition the team at the baseline can go a long way. Yeah, and well, it, and you can see Mitch kind of preempting a lot of that with some aggressive movement, maybe yeah. when he knows Adam's going to turn his back, Yeah. just to try to psych him out a little bit about yeah. where he's going to put that next yeah. ball. And these guys, like right there. And if you can get somehow to get it into a position where you can get your Ronnie possibly to move to his right, it kind of, so to speak, opens up the court. Good job. Nice hands from McKnight. He's there. His pick. Wow. He hit that just pretty much flat. Maybe a, a little bit of toss, but pretty impressive. All right, we got a shot clock on this rally. That's going to go in. Yeah. All right, now it's getting like uh, we're in Manch. Oh, down the middle. Solves the riddle. Right, and the, the, these are two of the great, the, like two of the best players in the nation, and just a little bit of miscommunication because of a down the middle shot. So can't say it enough. Right, and that's I guess something that you you brought up, but in this Legends event, not that these guys have never played together, oh, but shot. certainly they're not uh, they're not playing together all the time. No. Well, I tell you what. Uh, if Tyler Frazier isn't available, um, you know, Adam could do worse to play with Girani here because he's, they do have quite a, a chemistry. No question about it. No question. About anyway, it. we're at 4-1 in the second set. Once again, if you've just joined us or you, you know, have joined us a long time ago and you still don't know where we are, maybe you can read the Inverness panel on the back there. Before the, if only it lit up. You know what? I'm telling you, Cal. There's that's a there's the other billion bingo. dollar idea. So yeah, in league, yeah, in league it, panel, yeah. yeah, you let you the, if the logo, if you hit the logo, it lights up, and then the next point, the, the ensuing point, is worth a game right there. I just love that format. Nobody else wants to do it, and nobody else loves it other than me. But that's not the point. Well, okay. that's because it's a terrible idea. But for like a, a nor <laughs> like for an event, it's a cool idea. All right. Changing By the way, the way the game check is played, out check know. out Girani's reset down the middle just to get a different feel. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. 4115 Love. Lovely Inverness Golf Club. 
landmarks, historic. All around. Yeah. History abodes here in Inverness. Sid? No, just a little wide. By the way, if there is a home court advantage, Cal, you know it's got to go to Adam Morgan because he's technically from this area. Like, uh, I, I, I do believe uh, his uh, family, uh, he kind of grew up in the Inverness area. He went to Barrington High School. He and his brother Carl, Jason. So, from Jason. So, it, it, maybe he's kind of a little more possibly comfortable here than everybody else. I'm just gonna say. So if there is an HCA well, I, I, I don't here, know. yeah, I don't know about that. Considering that the courts, I believe, were built two years ago, not even. Yeah, but it's the just surroundings, Cal. You don't work with me here. Well, you know, because like I said, just because. I mean, how many times does an athlete come back to their hometown, and if they've never been in the studio, that was incredible. Studio, nice. I know. The I will say this, and I mean this in as, as, as a hands, sincere by the way. compliment. Inverness gives me shining vibes. It's like kind of perched up on this hill, beautiful views in all directions. And I believe I said this last time, but I would love to come here during the summer because they've got their yeah. tennis courts. And, I mean, the view well, must be... Oh, the that's view awesome. of the paddle courts is it's awesome. A, no, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, club. Absolutely. Inside and out. Look at the position from Girardi. The other thing is, once you get a lead, it's different. Look at the... I love, I love the uh, topspin roller off the backhand side on the one hand side with the chip. Smart. By the way, you will watch Barnes and uh, everybody else here does the same thing, but they're watching as the ball is in the air just to get a, a peripheral look as to where the opposite team is positioned. Not easy to do on a regular basis, still concentrate on the ball, but they're able to do it. That's just, again... Jedi magic. Now get over, get over. Uh, unbelievable. All right. 5 1. Well, you called it, Cal. I just kind of turned into a little bit of a. But I, I just think I didn't call it's that. more of a case. I, did I don't not know call if it's a case all. of McKnight and, uh, and Granger not playing as well, which I think that's part of it. But I just think, uh, you know, when you get on a roll like that with. Uh, Morgan and, and my Barnes. money, my money was to go three sets. So, just pick up. Okay, so he's just he's feeling it now. Because when you poach on that one, and he just kind of dished it in front of him, that's just style. Super. Oh, yeah. Man, speed. Go long, nice try. Great hands from Granger, geez. And then from McKnight with a the pickup there. That was. He's, well, you know what's funny? I almost, because McKnight's hands are so good, uh, and of course I just changed him there. I almost expect that from Ben. Ben is one of the best half volleyers I think I've ever seen in play. No, I know I've ever seen in platform. He could just kind of pick the ball up. He takes the ball on the rise as good as anybody. See, this is one of those matches where All right, I would we got love to just like, here, though, don't we? oh, we do have double match point, and now just a single match point. This is one of those matches where you just love to, like, press restart. And, yeah. like, given what they've, they're all warmed up, they're all playing now. Yeah. Just to kind of to run it back, so to speak. But I'm we're definitely getting ahead of ourselves here because they are very much still in this game. Yep. You got to also give it... Ben's there. Up to how well. Oh, great effort. How well Morgan and Barnes have played. Wow. Yeah, they, I mean, they played lights out. That was a display. Got to give it up. Legends paddle. Okay, so are we going to be able to do another one, Cal, or is that, was that it? I'm not sure. We What's, will, uh, we're, we're going to get some confirmation on that, and we will be right back. So yeah, don't I was go anywhere. Say, don't go anywhere, because we may still have some. Legends paddle with you. But in the meantime, we're going to hear from Wind Trust and Illinois Bone and Joint. Beautiful. Not your bank's top priority? Here at Wind Trust, we take a different approach to banking. No hidden fees or runarounds, but a true banking partner focused on your unique financial goals. Whether you're opening your first account, found your dream home, planning for the future, or starting a business, we have the financial solutions to get you there. Stop settling and start experiencing a better way to bank. Win trust, different approach, better results.
From the heart of Chicago, up to the North Shore, and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee. From urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Hi everyone, my name is Faith. I'm an athletic trainer for Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. Today we're gonna to talk about ACL injuries and how it relates to paddle. I'm sure everyone's heard of the ACL, but in case you don't know what that stands for, ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament. It's a huge stabilizer in your knee. Essentially, it keeps your knee, so your shin bone, your tibia, from pulling anteriorly, so forward, on your thigh bone, your femur, and it keeps you stable when doing dynamic activities. This can get torn uh, from a couple different mechanisms. So one being quick and aggressive deceleration, knee hyperextension, or um, a plant and twist or valgus, uh, letting your knee cave inwards towards your midline um, mechanism. You could have a Brio as a booth camp. Yeah, I'll take whatever you're getting it. If you get the food. All right. Okay. I don't know if we're back, but I'm going to talk as though we are. But I tell you what. So, if you look at the court a certain way, and I said it before, once you get these are relatively new courts, and they got kind of a a, a, a sheen to them, right? And so. If you look at it a certain way, it just kind of gives you kind of an X-Files vibe. Like, it's kind of a, you know, a, a, a UFO of some kind. Uh, I'm assuming, I'm just talking about the UFO-looking thing, uh, Cal. Well, if, if we didn't lose everybody, Ben McKnight is our hero, and he is finding us another match. He's the best. Uh, we have He's somebody in the chat face. saying it is a crime that Andrew Wrong is not on the live stream because they want to see that bun live. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Uh, Possibly. And wow. So we, we have a possible McBurney, okay. Colmar, Steinman, and company match possibly coming up. Would yeah, be? so uh, we're going to take it back to the uh, stream starting soon uh, and uh, take a little break here, but we will be back, yeah, I think with Graham McNair. So, yep, yep. All back right, we will at, be back uh, in a few. You bet, Inverness.
back, everybody. I'm doing the intro here because I don't think Sean remember the circumstances we're under, which is we're back at Inverness for the second match here. We have Alex Labrocolis. I, I, I told you I don't drink. What do you, why do you do that? All right, well, you, then, you know what? Actually, we have a, uh, an incredible guest commentator tonight who was the star of our previous match, Ben yes. McKnight. Star. <laughs> They were all stars. Yeah. Get it? All stars. It's fine. That's, that's anyways, what we're calling this legend. Yeah, he was calling it the all stars. So, yeah. but anyways, uh, we have we're lucky enough to have Ben McKnight with us in the commentary booth, uh, and he can go ahead and introduce the players. But Sean, yeah, I guess you. No, 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 know. no, I'm, Ben. I'm, you know what? If Ben Ben knows me better than I do, he plays against yeah. him all the time. Sure. So, well, on the near court here, we have Alex Lambo Lambropoulos, and we have Robert Steinman, and on the far court, we have Grant McNerney. And Will Kovar. So this, uh, these guys don't play too often together, but they all know each other's games very well. Um, so it should be a pretty exciting matchup. You know what, uh, Ben? I, I love this format, um, and I, I, I was telling Cal earlier that this is like watching an All-Star game, uh, but it's right. all just pretty much from the Chicago area, which is amazing. Really, it just it gives you an idea of what kind of depth we have here. Yeah. In uh, in the Chicago region, you know, because I mean, for every one of these guys, and even the guys who are just walking by the window, I'm going, whoa, that's Pete Perka. Well, that's David Kowski. Like, I mean, there, there, there's a whole bunch of guys here that just could absolutely play. So, that's, well, I as think much it's awesome. uh, as it is fun, there, there is a serious competition going on. Uh, Viking is a sponsor, and they gave $2,000 uh, prize money. I so didn't even this realize this is the that. semifinals, and this is the court one of. They're, but they're playing late, wow. so we'll have to figure out the results of the other Thank two you. courts to see if this one matters. But oh, I see what you mean. There's going to be some money on the line. Beautiful. So yeah. do we already know? You know what? If I guess if we were on top of it, we could probably have the standings going, like what, what, where we're at. You know what I'm saying? Like what we need or whatever. That's okay. It would be Brilliant. exciting if it comes down to this court, right? That's yeah, what yeah, yeah exactly. The other, the other two matches are split. That would be really cool. Yeah. So we'll find out Hopefully as they come off. Oh, there goes Cal. He just muted his mic, which means he wants to eat something, which he really should do because I'm looking at him. Awesome. I really, you know, I'm looking at him. He's going to have to eat. He should be eating my meal as well, Cal, actually. All right. So, and there's a great ambience, if you will, uh, from the clubhouse behind us. It's, I kind of like it when it gets a little noisy. Yeah, this place is hopping. Yeah. But anyway, it's a really so great crowd, great turnout. You can, you can really feel like a new paddle facility, oh, yeah. like energy here. Oh yeah, no question about it. Matter of fact, I was talking about the court, and just, yeah, obviously you can see it's been re surfaced. I should say resurfaced, probably just surfaced uh, recently because it's nice and shiny. It kind of gives you that, that almost UFO glow here, like the X Files thing. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so all four of these guys. Actually, Komar is. Uh, Komar should just be a reality show on on, it, on his own. I think because uh, he's liable to hit any shot at any time. That guy. So. Yeah, Will's had a tough year, and his PTI is reflecting it. <laughs> so. He, and, and, uh, yes. But if there's anybody who's going to get Will to really grind and focus, it's going to be Graham McNerney. So. Yes. Um, I would expect to see Will perform much better than what his rating's going to say tonight. And sure. then, um, Definitely can't They're going to be up for it tonight. I mean, Robert's coming off playing Atlantic Classic last, last weekend. He went out to New Jersey for a big national tournament. Sure. And so he's, he's in form. Yeah, you know, it's funny you say that. The, we got a couple of these kind of, I would call him one of the young bucks for sure. And technically Alex would be considered that too. Graham, Looks older than he is. He's actually a younger guy. And I kind of, what I'm loving is, especially just take Rob Steinman just for an example, hasn't really been playing paddle that long. Yep. But he's such a, he's got such great racket skills and what a great tennis player he was. But he's really been able to adapt his skills to the court pretty quickly. And it's almost amazing. I just see some of these guys come out and they're able to kind of adapt a lot more quickly. Usually, I mean, back, back when I was playing or started, it took you two, three years to get used to from coming from tennis to platform. But, I mean, these guys seem to just kind of hit the ground running. It's really impressive. It is. Yeah, I got And then Graham, unbelievable. 
As a matter of fact, there's a guy who, first of all, one of the nicest guys you've ever met on a paddle court is Graham McNerney. Uh, but on top of that, just an incredible talent. Like, uh, you don't realize how much range he has until you stand next to him. And then when you just see him at the net, guys, he's a, he's a tree. That's tough. All right, we're about to get ready here. All right, Graham is going to start off serving here. Already a switch, which I can see. We've got a little uh, idea here to start us off. Speed. Okay, so Lembropolis is a sneaky speed. Like, he's got, always has afterburner, so he got there pretty much in plenty of time on that one. So as a little way to introduce the players, Ben, why don't we play a new game called What is Ben Scared of? And you tell me every of each player what their scariest shot is if you're going up against them. Sure. So Alex has one of the best uh, down-the-line forehand drives, especially out of the deuce court. So you try to sneak it into the side screen, he can really make you pay. Uh, we're about to see Roberts. Very scary shot, that two-handed backhand. Uh, he yeah. just pushed it wide there, but... It was a great serve by Graham right down the middle, forcing Robert to go down the line. Will Colmar, his cutter winner is probably one of the best in the game. Yeah. Uh, and then Graham, to me, is the forehand drop volley. I still have nightmares over that. <laughs> Driving a ball out of the deuce court thinking it was going to be a good shot. Next thing you know, it's a drop shot winner. Yeah. So uh, missed by Robbie, Robbie Steinman. That's one of the things, not to pick on Rob, because he's just, like I said, a dynamically talented guy. Uh, but when you first start playing platform, I think you just get the touch you need to get on the lob pretty much on both sides on a regular basis is one of the things you got to develop as much as possible. Sometimes he can get away with a line drive, though, because his drive is so, look at that, so good. And after playing all four of these guys, uh, Ben, knowing the dynamics uh, between, even though they don't play on a, on a regular basis together necessarily, you have an idea of, let's say, what would what would McNerney and Colmar need to do? That, that's nasty. Uh, to, to to pretty much... Uh, well, I think their game plan win this match. is going to get Graham hitting as many overheads as possible. That's where you're starting to see the switch. And uh, Will's just going to stand up there and try to make volleys. They're going to keep it away from Robert's backhand as best as they can. And, uh, and that would probably be their main goal in the net. And if Graham gets enough short lobs, he's going to put the ball away with uh, a variety of options with his overheads. Sure. Look at that touch. Great lob. Oh, yeah. All right, already putting on a clinic here. Yeah, what geez. a dig. Come on. He's trying to get to China. <laughs> That's right. The archaeology major. That wasn't your major, Cal, when you were... There's that lamp I didn't down have the line drive yeah. I was talking about. Yeah. And those of you who are watching at home, if you've just joined us, we are at the Inverness Golf Club for Legends Platform, Legends Paddle from the CPTC, which is basically the all-star team of Chicagoland men's platform. Sean Albrecht, Cal Noble, and our special guest, Ben McKnight, here with you bringing the action. Still in the first game, got the shot clock on. Yeah. I mean, we were talking last uh, last match, Ben, when you were playing, yeah. that you guys kind of had the height advantage a little bit, and that it, you know it's it's tough to to lob over you guys. But I think that goes. Graham's got to be one of the hardest people to lob over in the game, he if it's even possible. Unbelievable range and just court awareness. So he uh, yeah. he he'll, he'll read when you're going to lob and drive very well. So he reads drive. Nice and take a step back. Nice touch. Yes, he does. I would say Robert's really improved his volleys over the last year. That's really started to elevate his game. Sure. You saw it right there. He, he started to really attack some of them. And you'll see he gets great depth on a lot of his balls as well. Good hands. Dig. Jeez. There it is. There it is. 
right on cue. That's just a win. Ben, good job. Yep. Yeah. So still locked. I don't know. We might be here for a while if this is any indication. Yeah, these guys are ready to play. You see a good lob. Grant this top, resets middle, avoids that Lambo forehand and Robert's backhand. Yep. And then waits for a short one where he can attack like that. Also love the changing of speeds on uh, Graham's spin overhead. Absolutely awesome. That was great. Will was looking to switch there. Graham didn't want any part of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was subtle, but it was yeah. there, wasn't it? That's funny. All right, so advantage right. McNerney and Colmar. Let's see if we can convert this one. Oh, yeah. Just a great move from Steinman. Yep. Opportunistic. You know what's funny is that I saw Rob play a lot of tennis. Oh, I haven't seen a serve that bad for yeah. Graham in a, all year. He's kind of almost rushed into it. So now we got a break point here. Anyway, I saw Rob play a lot of tennis, and he wasn't necessarily, Ooh. wow, very uncharacteristic right there. So a, a break of serve off the bat here. But uh, where I was going with that is Rob uh, wasn't necessarily known as a, a volleyer. Had great hands for a, uh, a return of serve, no question. Big first serve, by the way, when he played tennis. And just had pretty much every game. Wasn't necessarily known as a great volleyer, but obviously he had the tools. Yeah, he's really stepped up that volley this year. Absolutely. And somebody was He's a saying great this. serve to the deuce. It's, the deuce yeah. serve is very tricky because if you hit the kicker, it's going to spin it up into the middle. Exactly. But he just goes right at the nick, hard, the flat ball. Sure. And Tough. he kind of paints it right in that corner every time. Yeah, it's almost like equivalent of what Colmar's doing with that underhand serve where he just kind of corkscrews it into the, yeah. the nick like that. But if you can hit it over his, over, if Rob can hit it over his head like that, hey, why not? Yeah, there is such a thing as maybe putting too much spin on it, uh, Ben, you know. Uh, there is such a thing. I mean, most of the time you don't say that, well, I can hit it kind of hard. If I put a lot of spin on it, I can keep it in. But then on top of that, it also might kick into a place where it <laughs> might be it put you at a disadvantage. Yeah, especially when you're serving with a deuce. Yep. It, the spin pops up into the middle. Exactly. Sit down. It's going in. Look at the backhand roller. Here's another shot. And again, I sound like such an old timer saying this, but that's just something that we didn't see much of. Uh, you know, when I first started playing platform, especially on the backhand side, rollers, no way. I mean, it was something that we'd always say is kind of a hot dog shot if you can take it and drive it. Wouldn't even see much of a topspin drive. I love how he's tall enough to one time that lob. Yeah, I don't have a great example, but it, it, you, you almost wonder, like, how could we have not hit that shot 10 yeah, years yeah, ago? It's a good like, point. It, it looks so obvious that it's, that's a paddle yeah. shot. And tennis guys would have figured it out, but it, it, it is strange. Oh, it's such a hands. No, you're right. new part of the game, and it you're just right. feels right. I wonder, I'm wondering if, because I'm telling you just from a tennis standpoint, I know I was part of this because I was a certain volleyer. I'd have coaches tell me, listen, man, don't swing at your volleys. There are no swing volleys either. But that's kind of a, what again, get over. Well, that's nice. a great play by Will. So, so it's really interesting to see how aggressive Colmar and McNerney are in the backcourt. Graham yeah. likes to set up the points and, you know, lob and be unpredictable. Sure. And Will, when he's playing his best, plays very fast. So we're going to see, you know, if well, they can kind of get on the same page. Absolutely. He, can say, he is a strong dude. Like, he sometimes he won't even turn his shoulders as much and just kind of snap it down with his wrist, his forehand drive. So, like I said, I always felt like that, that was just kind of an entertaining shot. Will uh, obviously did a lot of weightlifting in his career. Uh, it looks that way. He's, Either he's that or he's very, just built very like strong young man. Pretty good golfer. At least that's what I heard. Just a great athlete. Absolutely. All right, another deuce game, which is not surprising. Good lob. I'm just going to say it, the lighting is perfect here. I mean, See that ball right good. there, that's like, you know, yep. you drive that when you're doing a lob it. That's, you 
be the question for you Shoulder, guys. you know, it's funny. Uh, they, I don't know if they're, I had a coach tell me, you know, if it strike zones are different. You know what I mean? I mean, in a way, if that was Graham, no offense, it's not that Will is, is short. If you're as tall as Graham, that's probably in his real house. That's a good point, though. That's another one. But you know what? The funny thing is, he can pull that off. So it's difficult to say to somebody, hey, man, you can't pull that. I don't know. At this level, I mean, you guys level, sometimes it, it, it's difficult to be, if I sub for, say, an instructor at a country club, and I get, you know, hey, Sean, can we work on a, you know, a, a roller or our kick serves or whatever? I'm thinking, okay, listen, can we just work on a reset? Because <laughs> sometimes they'll see shots out here. I thought that was going over that they, everybody wants to hit them, they look like fun, and they are, but it's more strategic for you guys. Sometimes some of the club players, like, we just gotta stick to basics and positioning and that type of thing. Yeah. Speaking of kick serves that jump, oh, well, it's great. it just takes a huge weight to it. Great serve. Yeah, we had a chance to stream Will, I think, uh, like a month and a half or two months ago, and he took a gash out of his knee falling on the court. Well, no, he didn't fall. His shoe got, like, trapped yeah, under one right. of the snowboards. It was yeah, not that. clumsiness. It was just bad luck. But yeah. then he played the rest of the match Yeah. and won. B bloody and everything. And then came in and commentated. Which was nice drama. That's awesome. Oh. Bad luck there. Bad luck. Great shot. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes Nick, what a shot from Graham Proper. Interesting, uh, Alex is trying to take that underhand serve at the back end. Jeez. Oh, it's true. Nice chicken wing there. You know what, half the time. I've See, now Will, that's not Will's drive. That he, that's, when you're playing with Graham, you gotta just be a little more patient, so. Graham's probably gonna give him a little look. Say, <laughs> slow it down, my friend. Yeah, there is such a thing. I think it happens in pretty much every racket sport, especially doubles, obviously, uh, where there is almost like an on-court coach uh, relationship in a way. Not that Will doesn't know what he's doing. Of course, he's, he's a great strategist. Man. Awesome uh, teaching pro, by the way. I've seen him uh, teach, and I've taught on the same quote. He's one of the best. Yeah, really? definitely. Oh. He really thinks deeply about the game and about the technique and the swing. Oh, yeah. But if somebody, it, go ahead. You know, he's helping out with uh, Moonshot, another great paddle. Yeah, I uh, noticed that. Brand, I would say. Sure. So a, he's up and coming. Yeah. I guess they're his buddies from high school. And I've never played with the paddle, but it's a nice vintage look, I would say. Oh, yeah. No, it's actually pretty sweet. It didn't seem like it would be because I hit a few balls with one of them. Um, and the only reason I say this is because the other one that I picked up, not it wasn't a moonshot, but the same basic uh, frame and model. A little wide, nice try. Way, way to leave it. It's very hard to hit that serve with a two-handed back and hit it inside out. I'm sort of surprised that's what he's going to. Yeah, you're right. Especially if you want to snap it. It's kind of tough to get it cross court. Yeah. On a platform court tennis, you know, you can actually put maybe a little topspin on the ball, maybe make an arc down there. Platform court's just not big enough. You can see he decided to, to, enough of that. He just lobbed that one. Yeah, why not? Get. Oh, they played that. That was out. Okay. It was wide. It looked wide. That's the other thing you see out here, which I really kind of dig is that even if there's a question on the call, guys just play it over. There's, it's really awesome sportsmanship. What a shot. Oh, is that what they're doing? They're playing it over? No. Oh, okay. But if they ever have a question like they're really not sure, they just play a let. You know, and it's it's no big deal. It's, you know, it's actually in the uh, the rules of rules. platform tennis. It, it, we have the etiquette of platform tennis, and, and that's, that's part of it. It's in there. And uh, it really is a big part of the culture that are you eating mine now? I'm taking game. one chicken and giving you a steak. It's it's not junior tennis. Uh, it's not college tennis. No. Yeah. Uh, we're all friends out here, and 
Yeah, you know what? The, the, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you said that. And we because realize there's two missed calls, the right accident. You just play it over. Sure. Yeah. No, no question. And uh, um, kind of glad you said that. Well, I mean, for, yeah, go ahead. Unfortunately yeah. for Chicago Paddle, you guys have somehow accumulated like most of the honest people in Chicago <laughs> to all be pros. <laughs> Because there's like a couple guys we've seen, I mean, like, that just, I feel like they don't have the capability to make intentionally a bad call. And that seems like if you're operating on such goodwill, yeah, you know, I versus yeah. tennis. Yeah. I'll tell you, Robert Steinman and uh, Graham McNerney are two of those guys right there. Yeah. They, yep. Yep. The uh, total home professionals and just gentlemen of the game. All right, this could be a good comeback for Will here. I know. Oh, sir, yeah. be very... So they get on the board here. So Graham's saying he's staying here. What a pickup. Seriously. Who says you can't half volley in platform? Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm just so like dating myself. I thought that was a John Mayer reference. <laughs> You know, the hit single, Who Says, from his 2009 album, Battle Studies? Sure. All right. Can we tell he's a fanatic? Uh, Very impressive. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Nothing wrong with that, Cal. Yeah, well, you celebrate all of... I just know John Mayer's girlfriend. I think that's my only That's his... Yeah. Well, Sean, uh, Sean celebrates all of Kenny Loggins' catalog. Well, he's and about, he, he's he's about my age. he the way. Talk about talent. And there we go. That was great. Great hold by Will. Yeah. He needed that. They do. So. It's not just one break of serve technically now. So they play, a th okay, with the format, Ben, they play a full third if there is a third? Yes. Okay. We were just, you know, we've been coming to different tournaments. Sometimes there's a 10-point tiebreaker with it. Depends on what it is. I've only seen one event where it was no ad scoring. Which was interesting. Yeah, that was the cabin fever. Yep. You know, I think paddle's becoming so deep in these tournaments and so competitive that we don't want endurance contests. We don't want the marathon and runners to, to be the ones who can play four or five matches in a day. I think we're going to be heading towards no ads and more tournaments. Is that right? Yeah. Padel has gone. Have you ever played that game? You know, I haven't, and I, I am absolutely dying to play. I have a racket, so that's so I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a rep for another company anyway, so I'm able to kind of trade with another uh, rep to get one. But, yeah, so they do that in uh, Padel, right? They do, and they call it the Golden Point. And I'll tell you what, I never was a huge fan of it playing platform. But once you start started playing more Padel, it just becomes natural. You don't even think about it. Sure. It just, and the, That's it really does stop these long, crazy games. That's what I hear. And, and is that kind of like unanimous with the players, most of them? I would say it's not yet. Yeah. Well, because we watched just Graham McNerney playing with Matic Chawinski in oh my. Pittsburgh. And they had probably played like two three-set matches and five matches on the day. And not to take anything away from, I think it was Chris Humphreys and uh, can't remember his partner. But uh, Russell, I mean, they, Russell Benkamp, yes. Yeah. And they they basically just kind of threw the last set. They just they came in. They're like, we're done. Yeah. And so you know, it's uh, it's not great for the sport. I'm sure as a whole to watch that when you could watch a you know kind of an all-out match. I mean, there is a there is a there is something to be said, I suppose, for the old school ideology. But I'm with you, um, Ben. I just think I don't know. There's a there's a certain amount. I got to tell you, on the tennis side, and I can speak to this for sure. Uh, just knowing this, the reason why there aren't a lot of tournaments played, especially in the adult ranks anymore, is because they don't want to cash a whole weekend playing four or five matches in a row. They'd rather play league tennis where they get one match in a week and then they go home. And, and guys like that a lot more. They, they, they feel like it takes less out of them. Even if they got to get up the next day, you know, and go to work, they still feel like, you know, they, they, can, they can handle it. Where, you know, you, 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 if you want to do something on the weekend, you really can't do it if you played a tournament and you're, you know, seated or you plan to do pretty well. Just a little long on that one. Oh, no, that's Graham's shot. That was a good swing. He just pushed it a little long. 
All right. After that, we had some more to get. That was a huge really, <laughs> exhibit really A. Inside a out huge inside, inside out for Yeah, anytime you get Alex out of position, you've done your job. Kind of a caress tomahawk there. It almost looked like a one handed backhand. Yep. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. I said that earlier, and of course, uh, that's one of the bingo card uh, phrases that Cal likes to make fun of. But I, I, my favorite is somebody who's got a two-handed backhand. And I have a one-hander, by the way. I can, my two-hander is horrible. Your two-hander is fantastic, right, by the way, Ben. I, I, I said it on the on the last Telecast. broadcast. Yeah, I actually likened it to little Jimmy Connors because you kind of. I, don't, I know you're right-handed, but I'm just saying it just looks a little Jimmy-ish to me, well, which is, by the way, a, a compliment. A compliment. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite. Two-handed back is one of my favorite players of all time. Um, all right, we got 30 all here. But uh, my favorite are some guys that have two-handed back and their one-handers better than mine. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. I mean, Adam Morgan That's hit one today. That's a little play by Graham there. That, that down the line lob and then sneak in behind it. Yeah. It's, it's really hard to get hurt in that move because if he comes at you, you can volley it. The only way he's going to yep. get it away from you. No, it's, a, it's, a, smart, it's yeah. a smart play. Rob making the ball die in the corner there. Did not come up for air. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Now, he's got a one-hander, though, so. Sneaky little uh, it was. spin. It looked like he was going to lob it, and he just flicked it at the last second. Robert wasn't expecting it. I was, I was going to ask uh, uh, Graham this question because he played uh, a tournament earlier and won with Juan Araya um, earlier Chicago this year. Charities. Exactly. Our big uh, Grand yeah. Prix, Chicago it, Grand Prix. It was uh, it was awesome. Great, great match. He played fantastic. And... Um, and Juan is, I mean, obviously a very talented guy. And I just, I, I, I was going to ask him because playing with him, I don't know if he'd ever played with him before. Um, I, I don't know. It didn't seem I like think they, they were, No, they, they had a, a couple times, they? but not, yeah. But the reason why I said it is because it's funny. Graham, he will play, he played differently to me with Juan. And what he basically said, I think it was even in an interview after the match that he won the match, he said, listen, I was here just to be, to do what I could do and let Juan be Juan. And the reason why I brought it up is there are certain shots that I see Graham even try that I, I've seen Juan try before. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm wondering, my point is, in my long-winded way, there are some times where you'll play with somebody and they'll influence you. Where you're like, ooh, that's cool. I, I didn't even realize, you know, that he was hitting that ball that well. I'm going to try doing that or incorporating that into my game. Well, there's not a lot of people who can do that better than Graham. No. I think we were talking, he might be one of the few people who have ever been ranked in the top ten with two different partners. Yeah. He played the deuce and the ad. That is amazing. And it really, it, those, yeah. it's subtle, but it, it's really, really impressive. That is amazing. It no. requires a lot of different skills. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No question about it. All right, here we go. 3-1. Three, three, yeah. Big hold by Alex there. Yeah. Impressive. Once again, if you just joined us, we are at uh, lovely Inverness Golf Club in historic, what do we say, Landmark Layton? Landmark Layton. Yeah, Inverness, Inverness Illinois. Illinois. Uh, Cal Noble, Sean Albrecht, and our special guest, Ben McKnight, bringing you the action the at the CPTC, along with our sponsors. Nice. You going to throw it up there? Oh, there it's you up go. there. All right, beautiful. Along with our sponsors. It would be, I would say, Illinois Bone and Joint. You're and blowing this. Viking, am I? Am I blowing And, and Wintrust and Community Wintrust Banks. Community. Okay, yeah. thanks. Thanks for bailing me out, Kim. Oh, of course. We still got to get that. Special thank you to uh, Viking for the... Yes. Absolutely. For prize the, money, the prize for money. the legends. Finals. Yeah. That's awesome. It really has all the best players out here. Fired up. Driving out to Inverness on a Tuesday night. Yeah. Oh, love it. Subtle, kind of a short backswing. It, that just short swing, took it quick. It just barely goes over the net. It's just a surprise, Graham. Just, he played it. I thought he was going to call that a little You can get Graham to miss a volley. You know it's a good shot. Yeah, it's true. I got to say, uh, the mechanics on the 
on the Steinman back end are, I mean, just pretty much absolutely perfect. And what's really, really impressive about that back end is he moves to the middle of the court and can still hit it better than almost. Yes. Well, I don't know if anyone early in the country can do it better. There's yeah, times when I thought I served the middle and he just somehow just sidestep and still get in there. Yeah. And just bangs the back end. Well, he is. It's funny. He's he's um he's lanky. So I mean, it takes one stride. He's probably able to get in the position. Yep. And it's just a little sh that little short compact swing. Sure. Well, like I said, Another he was a great part of that player. back end that makes it so dangerous. He can hit it three spots. He can hit it down the line, the middle, and cross. Oh yeah. And when you're volleying, it that's scary. Yeah. You know. It, so, yeah, it's a lot true. of times you, you sort of can pick up on people that well, they, again, they hit two spots and you're sort of looking for those two. When you have to look for three, that's, that's it's a problem. almost impossible. That's a problem. Other thing is, well, the one thing you'll do, I think I caught. Wow, that was impressive. Yeah, if you uh, miss, hit that one a little bit, got lucky. Yeah. Uh, but I've seen him hit, oh. Ah. I've seen him hit cross court. And most of the time we got to take something off the ball a little bit. Or just not swing as hard. He can still rip it and still snap it down. So, sure can. All right, say 15:30. Volley. Good thing there. He's going after it. Wow. Wow. All right, 15:40. That's smart. That's just smart. Perfect spot there, but we're all nice. Almost pace. a no look. Uh, I think Alex actually hit his paddle on the snowboard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Try to get it so low. And he... Just uh, love might be costly. Going to four one. You don't see Graham get broken two no nope. two times in a row too often. I'll tell you that. No, I, I do not. I was gonna say. We might even be able to do it. No, we'll do it a little later. I was going to say we could do it on the fifth game. But we can do it a little on the sixth game. It looks like we have a video technical difficulty, and that's Cal's department, so he's out there figuring something out. Either that or he's loitering someplace. I got him. Here. Yeah, if you have me start scoring, we know we're in trouble. No, we'll be all right. Oh. He can violate the three drive rule. He's good enough. That was a good look. He it was. The short ball was the right one to swing at. It was, Ben. I thought so. We cover the middle. Talk to me. Cal, I've never seen you move so fast. Uh, yeah. Well, you didn't see me at the John Mayer concert. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't there, but I, I would have been. The Kenny I was at the, yeah, the Kenny Loggins concert. Yeah. I think Kenny opened for him. I, think. I just left after that. What's John Mayer's. Oh. Unbelievable rally, though. That's that down the line lob. Because these LED lights sometimes gets a little Make it blind. difficult. Oh, yeah. And I think Robert just lost that one in the, in the lights. Just scrape it off the side screen. Another one. Let's save a lot of experience with that. Losing the ball in the lights. My advice to players out there is just take your time, don't panic, and it will eventually re reappear. <laughs> but no, it sounds funny, but you're absolutely right. You know, especially when you're talking about looking up, it's obviously going to be something you're playing off the screen or you're going to have to take your time with anyway. Otherwise, you wouldn't be looking up. Yep. Nice flop. Just have the mentality that you're just going to push down the middle. Sure. A reset ball. And it'll eventually sort of reappear, and you just have to kind of oh, yeah. fight through it. You know, it's amazing. I was talking about that too, Ben, earlier. Is as much as we see rollers and some spectacular overheads and some cutters and whatever, just you'll see it. Well, that is technically a basic reset for guys at your level right there. Sure, that's, a, that's, a, that's a Robert reset right there. Yeah. 
but the point I'm trying to make is sometimes just Jeronnie Barnes hit a few of them uh, in the last match where it was just a basic, you know, reset with some air underneath it right down the middle. There's sometimes you know, there's really no substitute for that. Look at Colmar. Sometimes it's just enough bait too where you, you think like, oh, I have to drive this, but they're, they're right on the net waiting. Exactly. So it's almost it's a, a good setup lob. play. No, unquestionably. I love Alex getting out of the way, figuring he may need to. That's just presence of mind there. Great shot from Will Colmar. I like think how just stepped bit. into that moving forward. Absolutely. I think dropped off a counter right there, dropped off a table. Beautiful. A granite counter tap. Same guy there. Again, that's that Roberts big serve to the Nick. Yep. Lance deep with a lot of pace. Well, it's funny. In it, I'm just talking mechanically there. Uh, Will sometimes, he's so strong that some guys that will just use their shoulders maybe might time that a little bit better. What it get? Look at the case. Look at that. But sometimes he's so strong. I think sometimes he'll muscle his forehand, and it's tough to keep the timing there. He's a good enough athlete where he can do it on a regular basis. But I can tell you from personal experience, you know, trying to do that, I'm not necessarily strong enough to do it. I just try it like an idiot. And uh, it what a toss for lob. You don't see that very often. Sean, is technically everything you do like an idiot? <laughs> Pretty much. It's, uh, One of the great things about Robert's serve is if, if Will decides to let it go to the screen, he's running a high risk of it hitting the neck. Oh. So. Oh. Exhibit A, yeah. even though that wasn't a serve. Wow. So is that, I think that takes us to a deuce. Or am I, no. No, that's game. <laughs> it's game. Nice. 2-4. Yep. Climbing back into it. Will got a great hold last time, so let's see if he can repeat it. He's, yeah. he's doing a really nice job going underhand to Alex. Alex started lobbing at the end. Looks like he's set up to hit a two-handed backhand again. Volley. <laughs> That's just... Oh, oh. Wow. Will Colmar. Can we re rewind that one? Oh, yeah, we got to replay that. That was, <laughs> that was beautiful. One of the most that just took shots a, I've seen. A, I a 90 shot degree like right since, turn. Uh, Ryan Uline's been playing. That was just sicko. Wow. I love the lob volley. Not a bad idea, actually, especially since you're bailing anyway. Not an easy shot, necessarily. What a lob. And not that this really probably is playing a factor tonight, but Ben, you were out there, and it kind of looks a little foggy on the cameras. When you're out there, was there was there a little bit of a little bit of fog going yeah, on? Yeah, there is. It's a little a little misty, but you can see pretty well. Just just the down the line LED lob was a little bit an issue, but it's a great facility, no complaints at all. Yeah. So we got Graham over in the deuce. This is interesting. Will instantly gets a great look at the backhand. Look at that through the. Oh wow! Tweener, Graham save. That was amazing. Great, another great love. So Graham's really gonna just probe these. Yep. Uh, looking to try to set up his partner here. So I was mentioning earlier uh, when we when we're uh, oh, as an switch. instructor, yeah. As an instructor, oh, little wide. I mean, just missed by about half an inch. Unbelievable. So, Ben, have we figured out what the the consequences or the ramifications of? Who wins this match yet? Have we figured that out? Because Dave Bukowski just came, came over and took a look at the score, and I think maybe he's just trying to figure something out. Let me, if let you want to go check it, check, check it, but that'd be yeah. great. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to see if we can figure this out. 15 all. Is this good? Are these good? Yeah. No, the, uh, shout out to Inverness Club. 
just for tried. supplying us food. Yeah, One maybe bite. you just mute your microphone there, Sean, but uh, hardly contain himself. <laughs> I'm not going to bother. Jeez. Shot. There is an art to making things harder on yourself and then performing. And I think Will Colmar, and I mean that sincerely as a compliment because, man, does he just play with some style. Yeah, he does. He does that on tennis court, too. Yeah, go for it. Audio guy. It's all right. And Team Oaks is up one match. But they're down a set on court three. Oh. So it's the, this, this it very it well could, could come, come down, down to this. this. Exactly yeah. right. So we'll, we'll Which find out Which is what we were shortly. what we were almost open for. Not that we're rooting for either side in particular. Oh, again, uncharacteristic there. From Robbie. Yeah, it looks like the match might have just ended. If I'm not, well, who knows? Okay, that's one of the, I'm going to say it, that's one of the nastiest, and I mean this as a compliment, underhand serves you, I, I've seen is Will Colmar's. That thing just, again, talk about his kickster taking a right turn, that thing just takes a left turn. I'm going to give him full credit for being the first person to really start hitting it. Hitting it like that? There's not many people who uh, created shots, and I'm going to give that one to Will. Really? Yeah. I've, I've heard that. I'm sure there's other people who dabbled with it, but that was the first guy who really decided just to dedicate himself to hitting it. Well, he's got it. He definitely has it down. I mean, because, again, as you were mentioning before, serving to the deuce side, you know, basically a, even a kind of a hard slice is still going to take a turn back to the center of the court. And if you could hit that, wow. And you know what? Colmar was reading that. I almost feel like Rob, as he was hitting the volley, almost saw it in the corner of his eye. You know, maybe uh, Colmar kind of blitzing on that one. Maybe that's one of the reasons why he missed it. 100%. All, All right, right four great, three. Another great hold by Will. Yeah, that was huge. All right, two holds. Yeah, four three. So time for Alice to step up, pull away here to five three, or be four four. This is big game. Will's a streaky player. Um, we, yeah. The last two games. Yes. Just Pretty bring good. it a little closer. There we go. There you go. Just so Will, a quiet. Will, Will is, he's also looks like he's ch either changing his shoes or he, which I kind of like, because maybe he just feels like he's a little more comfortable that way. Well, you're a fan of bringing used shoes out on the pedal court. Well, yeah, okay. That's something we could discuss if you want to. I just think sometimes, I don't know what you feel about this, Ben, it's just, a, uh, we're going on a tangent here, but um, sometimes new shoes stick so much That's to right. the surface yeah. that I think you're almost better off breaking in some shoes before you come out and play. Uh, platform. Uh, that's just me. I've always kind of, uh, I, you know, what I've tried, especially teaching the game, you just try to get used to being instructive, and that's one of the things I would tell people. Because otherwise, it seems like you're sticking to some people have knee issues or whatever, and they can't yeah. live it or whatever. They're not used to it. Yep. It is worth to note we had, I, I think it was uh, the venerable Dr. McCall on. Yeah, Brian from, McCall. Sure. Yeah, from, from IDJI. IDJI yeah. And his advice was to use new shoes for safety reasons. However, obviously, when you guys are playing at, well, one, this level, but really at any level, it's about comfort, provided you're not putting yourself at excessive risk. Yes. But we're none of us are doctors. so No. Thank goodness. Sean almost was. No, no, no. no. I would he just say that failed. if you have the option between new shoes and, and shoes without any grid on the surface, you know, grid on the surface, <laughs> right. you go with the new right. ones. Yeah. Uh, That's a good point, Ben. Yeah. yeah. So All right, it, fair enough. Some people, I think, go oh, a few too it. many matches before they get yeah, the holes in the soles. Yeah, and it's true. Yeah. You should give up on those. <laughs> but I do think that that first time you, you wear a shoe, you want a little bit of oh, yeah. practice session. I agree. I totally agree. And that's pretty opposite to tennis, right, where, you know, yeah. pros are probably hopping in a new set, new uh, shoes. You know what? On a hard court, you probably get away with uh, some shoes that have had some wear on them. Okay. On a clay court, it's it can be really problematic. 
because you need as much traction as you can get on a clay court. And maybe even a grass court, not that we play on grass. Oh, that was in there. Wow. Look at the speed. I'm telling you, that's what I mean by Alex Melampropoulos has afterburners, man. Because he just doesn't even look like he's kind of like Spider-Man. He he's got the Lambo V12, in there. Sean. He does. Awesome. I like that, Cal. You know, you are a creative guy. I, I take back almost everything <laughs> almost I said. So, yeah, about. That's the, there's your <laughs> other bingo one. Will can't believe that Lambo forehand dropped in. It just no, had so much time I know. That stayed in, too. Love Graham's movement. Just anticipating. He forced Robert to make an unbelievable volley not to get it picked off there. You're right. I also love the... Well, I mean, Graham's lobs are consistently light level, man. There's not many better than the game, that's for sure. No, he just... It's a variety, too. He, he's so good off the screen and what we call block lobs. Yes. When you take him off the deck. Yep. One time. And, yep. So when you got spin like that, this is obviously only applies to me because, uh, you know, I'm a beginner when it comes to paddle. But when you don't have the markings on the ball quite as much, it can be hard to judge the spin. Is that still an issue up at the higher levels at all? Sorry, I was just enjoying that little uh, point there from Will. <laughs> he was like right in the middle of the court. Yeah. Just playing just like, almost there. like a pickleball game. I know, it's like, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Sorry, Cal, can you ask, no. ask no, that again? No, he's, he's was just saying, he was just saying, you can't see the rotation necessarily on a platform tennis ball like you can on a tennis ball. And so is that even an issue, or is that a factor? I'm not sure it is, really. You just got to get used to the rotation. Yeah, you just get used to it, and a lot is ooh, um, ooh, the ooh, swing. You can sort ooh. of see the, how the player's hitting a shot, and you'll know whether it has a certain speed, spin. Yeah, absolutely. Whether they're coming around the ball or over top of the ball. Those exactly. are two big differences. So yep. it's just experience. Exactly. Just got to watch the way they hit the ball. It comes off the, the paddle. By the way, I'm not going to let this go unnoticed, but Will Colmar just did. He should be nominated for Sportsman of the Year because he had a shot. I mean, it looked for me like it could have caught the edge of the edge of the line. He called it wide on himself. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's a shot, great drive. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's give him even more... Uh, more, more, more accolades because he was falling to his left and he still snapped it down reverse cross court and uh, pretty much forced an error from Raleigh, which is not easy to do there either. No. <laughs> okay, I apologize. We have an on court mic, and even right. though that's not the worst thing Big we've heard. From Alex. <laughs> Graham's got to serve to stay in the same. Exactly. So, Ben, we, we kind of talked to a lot of people about this, and we, we hear a lot of commentators talk about how the first set isn't super important. Do you still, is, is that your 20, philosophy on it? They say 25% of the match. I want to see well, according Pete Burke, to Ray J, J, No, Ray, oh, Ray J. Murphy, Murphy said first set okay. is 20%. He definitely would But he know. just gets quoted on that. He's never been on the, uh, on the live stream. Ben, I, it seems to me like it's way more demoralizing than just 20%, but that's as a young player. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with more than 20%. Okay. Uh, wow. Well, Ray have, J. Murphy, haven't heard that name in a long time. You know, oh, except APTA, for last week. Uh, with our PTI algorithm yeah. committee has a lot, of, a lot of data of all the matches. We could actually run that. Could we? And we could sort of see, like, how often, you know... The first set the first wins set the match. The first set wins the match. And I don't think that's the exact odds that Ray Murphy's talking about, but... No, no. I think it'd be shockingly high. Yeah. I, I, I would agree with you. I think his point, and it's usually as instructive as it is, and Ray, by the way, was one of my coaches when I was a junior tennis player. Great. One of the, the all-time greats. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and phenomenal. Talking about a, a true leader of the, the community here in Chicago and about sportsmanship and, and oh, getting absolutely. along after the match and hanging out. He, absolutely. He was one of my uh, my favorites as well when I started yeah. learning the game. Oh, yeah. He, he was amazing. Matter of fact, real quick, Ray J. Murphy story. He was like a yogi. He was so flexible that he would lead us all in stretching, and we could not get anywhere near as flexible as him. 
and we were all younger than he was, obviously, you know. But it was amazing what he was able to do. Uh, but it was inspirational, really, because he would talk about it. He'd go, listen, man, you're going to get better. And, I mean, if you if you follow enough tennis and you see how flexible people like Novak Djokovic are, I guess he has, he has a point. Speaking of points, look at this thing. Jeez. I love that. I love it. That was a great decision by Colmar because he really wasn't in position. Wow. That might have flown, but you know what? He put so much top on it. I love the touch there. That worked. Wow. Well, Graham, amazing. Look at this point. Also, to be fair to Ray J, I think definitely, well, one, we've never heard him say that. It's Mike Rowley that likes to quote to that. To quote him? But I think he, more what he's getting at is if yes. you have the capability of winning the match, then the first set doesn't matter quite as much. Yes, that and also you you got you got to keep your chin up. Like as soon as you lose the first set, some people just kind of go away. Like, okay, I don't want to stick around maybe for a third. I don't want, I'm not sure we can even pull it off. And what Ray's basically, you know, that's my interpretation anyway. Yeah, sure. Would be that, hey, you just, you know, don't give up. You know, sometimes it takes you a set to get warmed up. 100%. Always keep fighting. Sure. Rafa Nadal won a lot of majors that way. <laughs> yes, he did. And he still might. I'm holding out hope for Rafa I, for this I agree. year. One more. It would be nice. It would be more. nice. Because we're, I'm telling you, we're going to miss him when he's gone. Oh. It's, ba it's bad enough not to have Roger around. And I don't even rep uh, Wilson. Yeah, you well, know? we just, we need someone to step up and pull a Tanya Harding. But. We need one of our sponsors <laughs> to uh, get those guys on a platform court. I mean, how great would that yeah. be? Yeah. Can CPTC you imagine Roger? Live stream yeah. With the Rafa versus yeah. I mean, they, if, if they can get him on the pickleball court. Match. Yeah. Why can't we? I don't understand why we're not. You know, we, by the way, we would gladly, as much as we enjoy uh, live streaming all this stuff, we would gladly step aside if ESPN Ocho wants to do one of the matches. Be happy to, you know, be there, you know, just to get water for somebody. I don't, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, well, the, the Ocho guys don't mess around. <laughs> Years ago, there was a big tennis conference in Las Vegas. This. Yep. And they put a platform court up. Did they? And they, they had the Bryan brothers out. And wow. It was like Peter Burke and Mike Raleigh and those guys. And the wow. Bryan brothers wouldn't get off the court. They were loving it so much. See, it's funny because that's one of the things we, we always talk about. Anybody with, like, racket skills. How about that for you, Mike? It was unbelievable Just pace. Great lob, red that yep. overhead, slid over, bang. Had to kind of flip. Yeah, that was tough. It's tough when you're, again, ready position. It's usually on the backhand side. When I say usually almost 100%. Tough to flip it and, and flex it back like that. Wow. It's a little miscue. I think the ball kicked up off the court a little bit more than maybe Robbie would have liked. All right, so here we go to, 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 to get one back to 5-4 here. Great volley. That's just crazy. He got it back. Oh, you know what? I, I I gave up on it, and I, I apologize to Rob Steinman because he almost pulled that off. That was impressive. So 5-4, great set. Yeah. Super yeah, hole. Set. Super hole for Good McInerney comeback. Coleman. Yeah. Nobody breaks Graham three times in a row. <laughs> it's too bad we don't have a video of him saying that. Like, nobody breaks me three times. One day. One day. Yeah, we're good. All right, so once again, I just want to make sure I remind everybody if you've joined us just now or recently, we are at Lovely Everness Golf Club watching the Legends, CPTC Legends division, which is basically an all-star team. And when I say just Chicagoland, these guys are all national caliber, nationally ranked, national level players. Uh, did that bite? No, I, 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 okay. that looked very out to me. But. I think so too. Um, and uh, it's kind of like a, almost like a league format, but just just so names. Was, uh, we get four captains, and it was Danny Oaks, Alex Lambropoulos, Adam Schumacher, sure. Andrew Wong, and then we had a draft. So we drafted by. Uh, I love it. A snake draft, and everybody got eight guys on the roster, and then we have a big group of subs that people fill in as needed. So this wow. is the semifinals. 
Which I love it. Between Team Oaks and... Team Oaks. This is the two versus three seed. So Team Oaks here, Graham and Will. And obviously Team Lambropolis is Robert and Alex. Like you said. Well, again, the, the fact that it's designed to even come to a point where this final match would be... And I say final match, this match would decide it. It's awesome. Yeah. Love the format. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what. So we do a drill at uh, Lakeshore Country Club. Uh, and I'm sure they do it at other country clubs as well. Where, uh, Ben, we'll, we'll take this near post, the light post on the near side here, and we'll put a rope going from one post to the other over the court and the drill is that you got a lab on this side of the rope to get it up and to give it give it enough air like that and pretty much i'm just going to say it i mean not to be belabor the point but i mean i'm going to say what a tomahawk oh, how about that volley i know that was just like a shot volley it was but i would i would venture to guess that basically grand Mac Graham McNerney would probably do it pretty much every time, which is not easy to do. Yeah, that, that's a great drill. You know, in Boston, they're testing out a new rule where if you lob the ball so high that it, it bounces and then goes out of the court, it's a winner. So, wow. So they're testing that. So there's a lot of debate going on whether that should, you know, that should you reward such a great lob. <laughs> One of my concerns with it is oh. that if you gave someone like Very Graham that opportunity, that it, you know, just it yeah. might turn the game just into pound like a it, ball. Pound one in there. So far, it seems to be well received in Boston. So it's going to be wow. a, an interesting debate going on with the APTA rules committee. Great hands by Steinman there, because that ball was stunned by McInerney. And he said really? it's in there. We're, we're, look at the shot. Oh, I was going to say we're just seeing some shot making. Some huge shot making. All right. 40-15? That's, yep. Or 15-40. 15-40. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I love the move. Oh. Love the move from McInerney. Just loved it. That's just, I mean, talk about great anticipation. You got to almost thinking, okay, I'm going to see, I'm going to see a, a waterfall here. I'm just taking off. He just kept his paddle really steady. And yep. Blocked it. And with that, uh, Colmar and McNer McNerty have evened it up. Five all. Sammy Hagar. I can't drive it. Get up. See Will's energy is so much better. I mean, this last four or five yeah. games, it's just that's true. He's really picked up his play. That's a good call. I want to mention that too because uh, uh, another legend, Guy Moore, was talking about it uh, earlier on one of the, the live streams. Where even at this level and when your guys level you, you still got to have an, a, maybe a designated. Well, depending on where you're swinging the ball, what a shot. Designated volley or designated, I call it a flanker. That's what we do at Lakeshore, but, you know, and the only reason I say that is because he said sometimes you're just better off because then there's no hesitation and there's always an efficiency of who's taking what ball, especially down the middle. And I, I would, like I said, could, couldn't agree more. And that's on every level. Like I said, we talk about just any kind of league series. Whether you're playing one or you're playing 32, it doesn't matter. Positioning does make a difference. That's right. It's usually yeah, good to have one person who's kind of communicating at the net. Like, yes. Yours, mine, yours, mine. Yeah. And a lot of it's just literally just reading the flow of the point and the positioning of your partner. You decide who, like, Will could have had hit that overhead, but Graham stepped over. I'm sure he said mine. Exactly. And that was it. And one of the reasons why you probably have to do that, and I mean, for it's obvious, but it just gives the other team a zone where they can hit the ball, thinking, okay, I'm going to get what a shot. Oh, what a pick! Wow. Uh, look at this point. Crazy. So good. Perfect reset. Yep, that That's perfect. the one I was talking yep. about. Yep. A little air in it. Lands deep. Yep. So, you know, 
early on they were switching what and putting Graham yes. in the overheads. And you saw that point they switched to put Will over on the left. So it's nice to have options, give them a different look. Well, you know, it's funny. You get the more talented you get out there, I guess that's part of the gig. You get more options. I don't know what that's like. You know, never had any talent. Part of it is Graham senses Will. Will's really, uh, you know, has a lot of energy. He's picked up his game. He's yep. killing it. So he kind of wants to get get him over there. Give him the hot hand. Get him yeah. active. Get him moving. Sure. And like. You know, there's not many people better than Graham when he's just sitting on the net looking no. to pick off volleys. Yeah, waiting to hit that dropper. Yeah, the, that dreaded dropper. Yeah, there is such a thing. I mean, this and again, it's a team sport, you know. There is such a thing as a hot hand. I remember he played enough just, oh, great shot, making him flip it. Down the line like that from Steinman. Will hit a good reset that just went to that Steinman backhand. Yeah, just dangerous. Just laser beam. Nice touch. Almost found a big there. Good recovery from Steinman. Well, we're getting a lot of enthusiasm for this match here. <laughs> Either that or. Oh, it's in there. Either that or somebody got a got a bite of one of these tacos, which is, by the way, amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good hands. You know, you get. That's just long. Wow. Crazy. Crazy point. All right. So, 15:30. After all that. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Love the one-hander flick. He went after it, that's gonna work. Nice dig. I think that was over your rope right there. <laughs> totally. That would have been over three ropes, man. We could have moved the rope back on that one, it would have made it. Love the idea. What a pickup. Wow from Steinman. Just super hands. I was feeling pretty good about Will's backhand there. Steinman just pulling it out of the hat there. Amazing. All right, so 1540. Yeah, double break point. Not that serve has been super important in this match. It seems to have. Yeah, I think there's... Oh, the Tomahawk's working. Almost dies back there. A little colder. So he just goes after it. That. <laughs> you know what? Only Will's going to be able to pull that off, too. All right, 6-5. It is, a, uh, it is a, a bit of a war here. I don't know which court. Is this court three? Court two? Court three? Here at Lovely Inverness golf club something like that i think it down is down on court four i can see the number i think we have our other other match still going here is in the it? third set so it's getting a little more now i think more of it is that because of the the condensation and because of the heat coming off the players i think it's just getting a little foggier out there yeah i mean i'm just gonna say what a pickup jeez you know it's funny I'm just kind of so glad I don't have to do a league practice after somebody watches this match, Cal. I, I, ben, I was just saying, I, 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 I'm so glad I don't have to do a league practice if somebody watches this match after this match, because you know, I'm, all I'm gonna get is, you know, Sean, I wanna work on a few things. And <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, guys, the shot making in this, this match has been spectacular to a point where I can't, we, you know, look. You've got the time, they don't have the money. Well, no, they do, but it's not, that's not the point. The point is I, I don't know if it's even practical. Because there, there are times where you just have to, I'm trying to think of it. Okay, so I, I did, I think I might have told this story before, way back when, but, so one of the best tennis players I ever get, well, that's in there. Playing against a guy named Phil, Phil Williamson. Boy, great blitz from Steinman. Very yeah, opportunistic. set by that Lambo down the line drive. It was. Forehand. Yeah. Robert took the net. Yeah, took the opportunity. Will got caught in no man's land there. 
tried to volley. Oh, just a little long there. Well, anyway, long story short, Phil Williamson, probably the best player I've ever been on the court with, got up to about 295 in the world and wow. qualified for the Open three times. I mean, so he was a round away from playing Sampras and a round away from playing Agassi, but lost. But he would, we were talking one time and uh, we were just throwing questions at him because we've never, you know, maybe I, I might have played, uh, you know, a match, what they call a futures match and a tournament, maybe eight of them in my entire career. This guy's playing at the Grand Prix level. Anyway, we were just kind of asking him questions. Hey, you know, and at the time, Boris Becker was just still in, I don't know if he was in the later stages of his career or whatever, but we just said, look, you know, you talk about a compact backswing, Phil. Becker takes it back, or you know, around his head when he hits his back, and he goes, "Sean, that's called talent. That's something that you and I don't have. So we <laughs> we have to you know, concentrate on the fundamentals. So sometimes I'll see, like you guys are out there making some of these shots. I'm thinking, yeah, it's tough to tell a student, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure we have the resources to uh, practice and get used to that shot. So let's work on some of more of the fundamentals. And if just for fun at the end, if you want to try a cutter, let's give it a ride. That's exactly right, yes. Yeah, fundamentals all day. Oh, yeah. You win a lot of matches with fundamentals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a cool thing about you platform. See now that Go ahead. We're in this big game here. You see there's a little less flash. It's Back to yeah, medals, something gets right? yeah. Slow down a little bit here. Exactly. The other thing I was mentioning to some people who haven't played it, that platform, even though it helps if you had tennis, a tennis background, sometimes I've seen some of the best platform players uh, come from nothing more than a, that kind of background. Uh, there's a there's a guy I'm not going to even mention his name, but it's more of a compliment at Lakeshore. He, he's a young kid, really never played other than basketball. He got to be so good just because he had skills and he understood the the concepts. Hey, you know, I got to lob this ball. This is a drive. I got to set for a drive. I got to make sure I stay in position. It was. It's just amazing. You don't necessarily need to be a great tennis player, you know, to, to play phenomenal paddle. That's right. You have to be strategic. Yes. That is. One That's coverage. You must have. Yeah. You have to compete. Oh Look yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lambo. Beauty. He just yeah. shift, shifted into fourth gear there. You gotta, say you gotta rewind that one, Cam. Yeah. Well. Did you get it? No. Uh, no. It's all right. I totally missed it. Don't try. Yeah, it's fine. So then it comes up with a big serve there too. So and we're gonna we're here. gonna set point set out point. of it. Serve in middle here, just trying to get the net. Good. <laughs> you know, the, the you know the more the more he does that, and the more I think about the one the rule you're talking about, I really believe that you're right. Is that it? All right. Well. Wow. Great set. Phenomenal. Well, yeah, we will uh, we'll be right back with uh, potentially next, uh, two more sets. Yeah, yeah I would of, say so uh, at Inverness Golf Club after these messages. Thank you. Right. Not your bank's top priority? Here at Wintrust, we take a different approach to banking. No hidden fees or runarounds, but a true banking partner focused on your unique financial goals. Whether you're opening your first account, found your dream home, planning for the future, or starting a business, we have the financial solutions to get you there. Stop settling and start experiencing a better way to bank. Win trust, different approach, better results. Hi everyone, my name is Faith. I'm an athletic trainer for Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. Today we're gonna to talk about ACL injuries and how it relates to paddle. I'm sure everyone's heard of the ACL, but in case you don't know what that stands for, ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament. It's a huge stabilizer in your knee. Essentially, it keeps your knee, so your shin bone, your tibia, 
from pulling anteriorly, so forward, on your thigh bone, your femur, and it keeps you stable when doing dynamic activities. This can get torn uh, from a couple different mechanisms. So one being quick and aggressive deceleration, knee hyperextension, or um, a plant and twist or valgus, uh, letting your knee cave inwards towards your midline um, mechanism. From the heart of Chicago, up to the North Shore, and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Chilling back. In, okay, it's looking foggier now. In is it me? Yes. You know, as as the uh, yeah, as, let's look at a little Silent Hill out there. It's pretty good lefty forehand from. Look at that from uh, Colmar. It's going southpaw. Hey, can I get on? Yeah. Unless, unless I want yeah. If you want. We just want to talk about the club a little bit. You know it. So uh, you can, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm trying to coax uh, Cliff Marslin, who's the director here. Beautiful. You can bring that around to there, right there. That a boy. All right. So, so Cliff, no, we just wanted to make sure we, uh, again, extol the virtues of how beautiful the club is and how great a job you guys did, uh, you know, putting this whole thing together. And, uh, by the way, that's, well, you couldn't ask for a better match. Hopefully we get, I, of course, Cal, I don't know if Cal wants a three-setter because he needs to get back to eating something. I mean, look at him. Getting back to, I need to get back to Chicago. Okay, fine. Uh -huh. You can eat in Chicago. But anyway. It's true. So we're talking to Cliff Marslin, who is the director here at Inverness Golf Club. So uh, are you, you, you were mentioning that you were trying, you guys are trying to get maybe a couple of tournaments here or whatever. You can go ahead and elaborate on that if you want to. Yeah, uh, we're uh, planning on trying to get uh, an NRT national ranking tournament with the APCA here. We're just trying to figure out um, the right date uh, to fit in the schedule, you know, obviously uh, taking into account the other tournaments that are already going on in the Chicago area. We feel like, you know, we can add something and uh you know we've got this amazing facility here oh yeah that would be uh, a bit of a draw card i feel so uh, oh, without yeah. question no without question uh not only that you know we've got i think the chicago area the cool thing about that is and we're st seeing more uh platform tennis uh I i'm gonna tell you and I'm, I'm a rep for another tennis racket company that cliff is Nice enough to be one of my accounts, by the way. Yeah. One of my favorite places to, to come and visit, by the way. But uh, no way. Come on. Wow. He's just putting on a clinic now. But anyway, the idea is I, wherever I go in, uh, in the middle states, I have Missouri and I've got, you know, Nebraska and Iowa. It is amazing how popular platform is getting, even into these areas. And so to the point where Chicago is a great place for a tournament because you get guys coming from the East Coast and you get guys coming from maybe if they are coming from Nebraska or Minnesota or whatever. It's a relatively central location and it's not all that big a deal to get there. Going all the way to the East Coast all the time sometimes can get a little uh, uh, daunting for people. Yeah. So that's kind of part of it. Um, and anyway, so Cliff, by the way, I, you, the, when, the, when we kind of met, you were at what I want to say, Bell Reeve. Yeah, was I was that? At, yeah, I was at Bell Reeve Country Club in St. Louis. Uh, sure. One, one of the premier clubs there. Um, great place, great people. Uh, they've got a nice uh, paddle program there themselves. Um, recently redid their facility um, after they hosted the PGA. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, that I remember. Yep. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable, and I wanted. And of course, people are going to ask me. I don't know if you're going to ask me on the on the on the chat, but they're they're detecting an accent from you. So, oh. but we're talking we're talking. And I was going to say Australian. That's correct. Yeah, because yeah. I only reason I know that because my I I lived with an Australian couple when I got out of college, and you just got used to, you yeah. know. This difference. What part of Australia, sir? Uh, I'm Did originally from Perth, which is on the west coast. Yes. Uh, city of about two million people. Um, 
yeah, definitely uh, miss it. Pretty similar weather to California. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, been, but I've been in the U.S. for, for 13 years or so now. Is that right? So yeah, just trying to hang on to the accent. <laughs> you're, well, you're not. You're doing a great job. Then again, you know what? How would I know? I mean, when you, I tell you what, if you watch the live stream and you hear yourself, maybe you'll be able to tell me whether you two got the idea or not. I think what a shot. That's the idea. Uh, Cliff, I've tried to make a reference to a particular sport here for about, I don't know, all three years we've been doing this, and nobody has ever gotten a single one of their references, but I think you will if we call you the Daniel Ricardo of tennis. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, um, but you know who he is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, because he's from Perth as well, I believe. Yeah, actually, small world, he's... Uh, his father was in my parents' wedding. He's from the suburb next to where oh, I grew up. Oh, wow. Yeah, very small world, yep. For those of you who don't know, he's a Formula One driver. That's, you know, a way to be topical, uh, Cal. That was a nice job there. Yeah. Well, I didn't even realize that. Well, your, uh, your, your hometown is, um, I like to imagine it's uh, Mike Tyson trying to say the word purse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fair enough. That's the idea. So, when you when did you start first playing platform, uh, Cliff? Uh, I got introduced to it uh, when I was at Bell Reef Country Club. Uh, so I've been about three or three years or so. Uh, yeah, got into it in the St. Louis League. They've sure. got a uh, like a ladder league there with about 30 courts. And wow! Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty Jeez. fun deal. Yeah. Great blitz. Awesome blitz there. So, and so your tennis background? Where? where, where how did you start? Where did you start? Obviously, you played tennis first. Uh, yes, yeah. So I played uh, um, ITF juniors when I was back in Australia, national tournaments there. Uh, I played one junior slam at the AO, and uh, then wow. I played so I played a little some futures before I went to college. Got injured, ran out of money. We've all seen that movie before. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, then I went to played some college tennis at the University of Tulsa in Oklahoma. Had an awesome experience Jeez. there. And, uh, yeah, then go to the private club world. So, wow. yeah, here we are. Well, you know what? That's way over my uh, level. Man, I can't even see that. Way. The, the funny thing is when you said you played, which junior slam, but was it the Aussie? Yeah, I played okay. in Melbourne. Why not? Yep. You know what? That's a, that was a good move by Komar. Almost pulled it off there. you got to show that every so often off of some of those waterfalls. you just got to show a possible drive off the deck. The music's really bumping out there. I noticed that. Oh, Jackson 5, actually. you have anything to do with the uh, Spotify choice or the playlist cliff at all? No? No, that's definitely not me. <laughs> For the people that heard me out there, it's really not it's me not either, my man. <laughs> oh, look at oh, that. It's going to work. A, a slick switch there. Yeah, not that I, I don't, not that I dislike that, but it's just, I just wondered. Well, you know, it's okay. There's there's one guy from Australia because uh, Cal and I have already Cal's already outed me anyway, uh, but we're both musicians. I'm not even sure. Are you a musician, by the way? Uh, Cliff, do you? Uh, no. I also no, would okay. call I'm myself one. Okay, well you can. Sean's being modest. You're, you're, get over it. Wow. Unbelievable touch. Not easy to do when it's above that level like that. Anyway, Johnny Farnham is a guy I'm talking about, and he's oh, an older yeah. dude. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, absolutely. He's he's fantastic. I remember listening to him. There were a couple of, of bands, but of course I'm an older guy, so a couple of bands from way back when. But Australia's got some great music. First of all, in excess, I was a big I was fan. I was about to say, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tommy Emmanuel, come on. But Tommy Emmanuel is he in Australia? No, he's big I didn't, I didn't know that. Tommy Emmanuel is a god. Yeah. A guitar god. It's unbelievable. I didn't realize he was Australian. Good call there, Cal. Boy, you're, you're hot. You're on fire tonight, Cal. El Fuego for Cal. It's unbelievable. The way Graham McNerney holds the shot yeah. just makes it so difficult to read. And he can, he can change it up in the last second and manipulate the ball in so many different ways. You're right. It's a big challenge. He's also got crazy range because I, I, you forget how, look at the touch, you forget how tall he is. I mean, not that, but actually, you got, it's not like you're, you're uh, uh, what do I say, vertically challenged, uh, Cliff, you, you got some height to you. Uh, that you don't see very often. I think I jinxed it. Did you? That's okay. <laughs> it's all right, it happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> the commentators. The commentators, all right. So 1530. Even though they've got built a two, what a shot, a two-love lead. Is that sweet backhand from Robbie Steinman? 
Fincher, look at that set. So he's, t that's, well, here's a funny thing. So Komar will take a ball that might be above shoulder level, but he can snap it down. He's a pretty strong dude with that forehand side, so I almost don't blame him when he tries some of that stuff. Oh, none of them is there. Yeah. Tell you what, let's get some frustration out, which is not a bad idea. I, pref they, I, I prefer when they do that instead of hitting their leg. <laughs> Can't get away with that. Answer. Super return. Climbing back in. I shouldn't say that because yeah, I won no, the no, first no, set. Yeah. Speaking of, it looks like we have a grind on the other court as well, which started about 15 minutes before this one. Is that right? If not, 30 minutes before this one, uh, down on court <laughs> four. Still going uh, to to help decide the tournament. I think this one's important no matter what, if I'm not mistaken. Well, unless... Well, they were, we okay, were thinking mind. that yeah. this, yeah. Cliff, by the way, we were thinking this this match might actually decide the whole thing just because they have, you know, their, their the, uh, the match standings. But let's just see what happens. And so here's, this is how, by the way, speaking of age, and I don't mean to date myself, but this is how old I am. So I remember the generations of state Illinois uh, tournament uh, cont uh, contenders and a champ two years in a row from this guy. But uh, he won doubles, uh, and he was playing against a couple students of mine, Cliff. That's how, like, I was, and, and actually he's much older than Robbie. But not, not, not much, much older. Oh, God, Robbie, I got fucked up. Well, <laughs> see, now, here's the problem that might with be the on-court mic. we've ever gotten. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. But you know what, I can't. To the folks I, at home. I can't, do, I can't do anything with the noise gate on that one. That was right there. We'll need a few. Uh, we'll just need to add a delay. What a shot. I uh, have a guy for that. That was kind of a clean forehand. Well, yeah, no, we can, we can fix that in the mix uh, later if we want, really, if we want to. It's not like we couldn't. We'd have to pull, pull the whole video. Look at that. I love the topspin lob. You don't see that very often, Cliff, in paddle. I see a topspin lob yeah, attempt. Yeah, yeah, you better have soft hands if you want to pull true. that off. There was a guy that was one of the world champions, I say world champions, national champions, that won a couple titles. His name is Jared Palmer. Maybe you know who he is. Yeah, I've, I've heard a lot about Jared Palmer. I heard yeah. he's got a pretty mean low volley. Yeah, he's, he's got, well, he's a major champion. And uh, I think he won, what did I say, is he won Wimbledon title? Yep. Um, and uh, so he's pretty good. Yep, great, yeah, great, great pedigree, display platform. But he was one of the only guys that actually could pull off a, uh, a topspin lob in platform, which is saying something, really. I don't know. All right, so we're at 30 all, 2 1, still anybody's ball game here. Well, that bit. Yeah. What, again? Uncharacteristic, but it worked for, I mean, worked for McNerney and Colmar. Seems like from both teams, this second set is a lot messier. Not to insult anybody. No, no, no. It's a lot Might more be the errors. fog, Cal, you know, because yeah. it does look. It's husky out there. Yeah, it's got, I mean, I, I feel like I'm. Starting to tear up. No, either that or no. I took my wife to London for her birthday. A big birthday. I'm not going to tell you which one it is because that would be indelicate. And I've been did indelicate enough. Did you guys enough. visit Guitar George? We did not. He knows. You know why? All the chords. You know why? Because we don't. Here's why. Ooh. When you're when you're married and your wife wants to go see ABBA in concert, Cliff. Ever? I don't know if you're with. Yeah. <laughs> she. And the thing is, the funny thing is, I bought tickets not knowing. This is how dumb we are sometimes in America. I guess. So I bought tickets to ABBA so my wife could go, and I realized it was a hologram show later. <laughs> it wasn't even. Oh, it wasn't even ABBA. What a backhand. Look at that. Nice leave. Sometimes you can hit the ball too hard in paddle. Not to say that Alex hit it too hard. It's just sometimes a drive, if you really smack it, and crack it, and come back off the screen too quickly, and it's actually a disadvantage. All right, so love 15. She's been tough to hold out here. I don't know whether it is the fog or... It's vintage back Matt Marty. That, that kind of straight-edge kind of cutter reset like that. 
Cliff, I was talking earlier because sometimes, I mean, I've even called upon every so often now to sub at a country club. What are you doing? Okay, I was going to try to mute it there if we had another <laughs> batch of profanity coming, but. He had the reactions of a cat. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. On sleeping. Oh, very, yeah, very. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 nothing there, nothing oh. there. Nothing there. Well, anyway, what I was going to say is you can you can learn because you you I'm sure you have a, a gajillion students that you teach. You can't learn from watching this match, although they have they're 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 hitting shots that you know most league players aren't going to be able to hit. But what are the things that you try to point out when you have some of your students watch a match like this? Watching these guys, watching um, guys at you know your level, the pro level. Uh, so I would probably talk most about like the push overheads, like you know, as yep. wheels getting pushed back there, and just like the push overhead and resetting down the middle, just keeping it simple and yes, you know, waiting for you know your opportunity when you're in the fun zone to create. I think just like they're not really taking massive risk. No, you know. They're extending the point. They're very comfortable getting deeper in the point. I mean, the thing I like to talk about most is probably shot tolerance. That's the, you know, the kind of magic term we, you know, we spoke about a lot, a lot of that in college. But sure. I mean, for this sport, it's even more pertinent. You know, you've got some of the longest rallies of any racket sport out <laughs> it's here. It's true. I don't know what it stacks up like against badminton. They have pretty long rallies too, but in, yeah, out here it can go forever. So... Yeah, just getting like, you know, you've got to remain alert in these longer rallies and not kind of get lulled to sleep when you go into a slow period of play. But um, Absolutely. Yeah, I think just, you know, you get pushed deep on a lob, you know, go deep middle. If you're short, if, the, if, the, if they drop the ball shorter, you know, then you can start to create, get at the corners, get at the sides. Sure. Use your spins, you know, whatever you have in your in your toolbox that's when sure. you bring it out so yeah mainly positioning and just keeping the shot selection simple and trying to use you know what you have use it well yeah couldn't agree more matter of fact and, and I was mentioning this to Ben McKnight earlier and Cal Cal was here too he was munching on a taco at the time but he was here it's true yeah, but uh, what I was going to say is that even it, like that that's just a basic reset and that wasn't really a classic reset but it's just a, a basic reset with some air underneath it at any level is effective. Exactly. So it doesn't, you don't necessarily have to hit, you know, cut, cut overheads or you don't necessarily have to always hit rollers or whatever. The idea is, you know, sometimes the most basic shots are the most effective. And positioning, wow, that, that we just could go on and on about that one. Yeah. Because, I mean, sometimes in the, just the communication, just a split second off of communication where I'm not sure if that's my my, par, my partner's ball or my ball. That's He's going to get there. It's blitz. a super move. Yeah. Yeah. You read that like a book. Yeah, unquestionably. Yeah, because I, I will – it's funny. This It's entertaining, though, for platform to see this, for platform fans. And all of these guys – um, I was saying earlier, you know, are playing in this area, but they're all nationally, national Cal returns. We, yeah. We've seen them in national events, uh, countless national events. So, Do you, know, you guys feel like the game is speeding up in recent years, or do you feel like absolutely. it is still well, slow? Cal, I, mean, I don't want to answer for Cal, but Cal is young enough at this point where he probably couldn't, doesn't have a frame of reference. Did he just slide on a platform? Wow. <laughs> Wheels. That is wheels. Uh, to answer your question, absolutely it is. I mean, I was mentioning it before that uh, a roller on the backhand side was just pretty much non-existent. Non-existent. I'm not saying it wasn't done because there were some two-handers back when I started, way back when. I mean, we're talking, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in my late 50s now, so you're talking, you know, when I started playing platform, it was right when I got out of college, so it's 30-something years ago. And generally, you'd be chipping the ball, you know, off the backhand side. You you look to drive the forehand and you chip, either chip lob usually the back that was a little long yeah, the the backhand side. But now it's like everybody's got every shot. Guys are I mean a, a backhand roller is something that's just kind of commonplace. Matter of fact, they even work on it. I mean look at that. Yep. Perfect example. And of course he's got one of the best backhands out there anyway. Colmar going after a little bit more than maybe he needed to. But you know what? If you're up with a 4-2, and besides, he's talented enough, he pulls that off more yeah. than he misses it. But, yeah, so I, I, th I think it really has. The other thing is this underhand serve, and the serves have gotten much bigger. I think 
You know what? I'm going to say it. I think sometimes the, uh, and this is a tribute to Viking and, uh, you know, all of the paddle manufacturers are out there, Viking being one of our sponsors. But I think the, the uh, equipment has helped because it's a much sweeter paddle now than it used to be. I can tell you that. Yeah. Way nicer. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. I think it's like anything. You know, the head sizes are getting bigger. Things are yes. getting more forgiving, more playability. Yep. Yeah, I well, was doing some research on like paddle specs from like seven or more years ago, and I noticed there was more paddles in like the 385 range. Yeah, you know they've gotten lighter, um, and it seems to be—it could be wrong—seems to be like it's going from more dense cores more to mid, and even some soft options. So yeah, oh, I think that's definitely. really interesting. Look at McNerney, just a really smooth move. Yep. Difficult to get around him, too. He's got a wingspan on him. Yeah, he's plugging the middle really well. No question. All right, still 1540, though. And I'll agree with Ben McKnight. I don't see a better underhand serve, uh, maybe as good, in, in that we've seen some of the players in the nation. Whoops. Nice. I was going to say, hopefully he, didn't, he can get up from there. I know I wouldn't have been able to. But, as a, yeah, as Will Comar's underhand serve is pretty much as good as it gets. Do you do you teach that too, Cliff? Is do you uh, say, hey, you want to learn an under underhand serve? We're going to do that today. Do you do that sometimes? Um, I've got a lot of my clientele are fairly new to paddle, so sure. you know we're trying to, you know, we're still in the let's you know get the points started and sure. you know not trying to give away too much there. But I've definitely had some inquiries about the roller and sure and all that. So I think yeah, you know, if you've got you're coming from a tennis background, you've got good technique on the forehand side and you're comfortable and you're wanting, you're wanting you're having trouble with people kind of you know belting their return of serve at your toes yep. you're trying to neutralize the return a little more then it's definitely something we can explore but yeah I haven't haven't taught it a lot so far yet sure sort of been tinkering with it myself a little bit more on the deuce side I've seen a few guys doing that and uh, it's exactly when usually yeah. is when people use it uh, yeah. just to corkscrew so to speak the ball yeah. into the nick going wide because if you go over your head usually the ball kicks out to the left yeah i think against these players of this caliber they're just you know you you if you're a righty and you're you know you're working your t-serve heavy spin they're still able to run around it hit yep. off forehand between you and the net guy or they're able to drill at the net guy at the right hip with the yep. angle and i think that's just it's just a problematic side with that serve so having having an ability to serve wide or bring out a roller just keeps people a bit more honest with their positioning and exactly. don't, you don't get picked on as much with that serve. No, so, exactly. Yeah, I think it's, you know, at the higher levels, you, you kind of need some options there, some variety. Yeah, it is. It's, I, I'm just, I'm noticing it more and more. That's the only reason why I mentioned it. Yep. Uh, and again, I, hopefully, like I said, I don't have to start oh. a great shot. I almost saw that coming, but I didn't think he put that much spin on it, but that's just talent, like I said before. Yeah. Uh, the very but, compact backswing too. Oh yeah, yeah, did well there. Yeah, the only thing that I laugh about sometimes is I'll see they'll see I should say some students of mine will see a shot out there, and that 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 one of these guys will hit or you will hit or whatever when you're out there. It's like, oh Sean, you're not supposed to hit high backhand like that. I'm thinking, e yeah, but <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm just saying we frown on it. You're probably better off not doing that and just letting your partner get that ball. But generally speaking, you know, it's going to happen every so often. And these guys, that was another thing. Uh, they swing the ball a lot. Yeah. Like, in other words, we'll, we'll I'll tell students, hey, you know what, probably pick on, you know, we call it the push-up principle where I come from. You know, if you can do one, that's great. But let's see if you can hit 50 shots in a row coming from that angle, usually the, the ad side, obviously. And these guys have a tendency more to swing the ball. But it's just because they're so good at shifting into position, yep. you know, and handling it. So, by the way, just don't look now, but it is 30-15, and they're just down 3-4. I think that hit the edge of the line that's in there. That is uh, uh, Steinman and Lombropoulos are down 3-4, but up in this game, and they're in danger of tying this thing when they had a 4-1 deficit. Yeah. So it's pretty amazing. Well, Cliff, thanks again for hosting this whole thing. This is awesome. By the way, thanks for the tacos. Oh, my God. These are, I mean, granted, look at me. 
it, I, it doesn't I don't seem to be all that discriminating with what I'm eating, but the point is, it's phenomenal. The foods here is amazing. Well, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, this has been a, it's a huge deal for us to host uh, Legends Paddle. It's probably the event on our calendar our members look forward to the most. Um, as you can see, a lot of people showed up tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of excitement in the building. Uh, and yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the food. No, thank you. Well, he's I, only had half of a taco. I have, I had well, you know three. what? I, I have a hard time not enjoying the food. Yeah, no, they, they were good. I'm just saying, just any kind of food. He almost got something off the logo there. I don't know. I'm only that thing lit up. Yeah. All right, here's a, a possible hold point, and he does. Inside in. No. Graham didn't get the memo. They were supposed to hold serve. It's like, uh, no, not, not on my watch. Not right now. All right, back to Deuce. Some rocking music, man. Is it always like this on a Tuesday night, Cliff? Every night. Is it here, awesome? It's just awesome. Good reset. That's what I'm talking about. And he does it so easily. That's it. It's in there. Seem to be slowing it down here at Duke Colmar and McNerney. It's McNerney, I should probably say it. Yeah, right? Mike Rowley's the I one that goes McInerney. You know what? I've, I've been saying that, and that's, I think I took that page out of that's Mike okay. Rowley's book. Okay. Sorry about that, Graham. Well, look. If he ever watches this and he hears that, I'm not good there. Again, it's a blessing and a curse, but everything Mike Rowley does is memorable. <laughs> He is Here's the push-up principle. Oh, a great reflex from Colmar there out of the nick. Gets another one. A little more control of that one. Or control the bull. But I was waiting for that. It's like yep. sooner or later you're going to get a drive. He just, just as a change of pace, if not the fact that he's just talented enough to do that. Yeah. And yes, this is my contrast right there. So Graham's going to lob the ball above the lights on a regular basis. Did I say above? Yeah. Yes, I did. I said no, well, no. I, yeah. I did say that. Uh, and then Will's going to be a little more of a line drive. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. So it's almost kind of a nice contrast. I mean, obviously, you want to get it as deep as you can just to get maybe the, uh, the opposing team off of their position a bit. I mean, Graham's lobs are just disgusting. I know you guys can't totally see it from the live stream, but anybody that's watched him do it, I mean, he hits mm -hmm. basically the same thing every time. <laughs> it's and crazy. it's just perfect. Yeah. It's an absolute moon ball. Yep. Yeah, even even his short lobs are deep. Yeah. Well, maybe not that one, but I just jinxed him. We got a shot clock on this point. Yes, range. He's basically Mr. Fade. He's Reed Richards with that reach right there. Keith Richards. If Keith, no, no, no. Keith Richards is all right. Just like Keith Richards. I'm going Marvel here. We're not doing what a shot. Okay. Oh my. Awesome track in here. Vintage Keith Rich Keith Richards right there. <laughs> He's gonna get that again. Okay, there have been like three or four winners that have just come back. I could just say it. I love the move. I love the Amazing move, point. though. It's awesome. That was incredible. With the shot clock. I'm all right, so possible one more time. A point to hold to get one the four off. One more all. time. Wow. Nice Who's step. texting me at this hour? Oh, look at that. Yep. Yeah, there are times where, oh, I almost feel like when Graham hits a drive that's shoulder high for him, it's almost like he could hit down on it, Cliff. It's like he could just kind of come down through the ball. I know that's physically maybe not even the, the case, but it just looks that way. I totally know what you're saying. Um, I feel like that kind of the up-down effect guys get when they – you know, cut off anything, you know, soft side or sure. when they spin it towards the side screen. Sure. Those 
those volleys are, I mean, for me, the toughest ones to dig, dig out. So oh, yeah. I know it's, you know, people are always trying to get down. So and they dig those is. out. Sorry, Cliff, yes, they sir. tie it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing. People go, you know what, if you're taller, they say, you got such an advantage. Not with a low volley, we don't. And I say we because I'm on the taller side myself. Of course, I'm not quite in year two. Uh, what a you shot. Know, I was going to say that earlier when we were talking with Cliff because normally Matt McClure is with us, and Sean, you're about the same height, if anything. Pretty you much, might be a little yeah. high, taller than him. No. And it was the first time I yeah. ever saw you and was like, man, you kinda, you're kind of short. Yeah, I know. Uh, normally there's not two of us. Okay, Will doesn't miss a shot like that most of the time. And, well, and then the, I apologize, I didn't get his name, but the waiter here who's taller than oh, both yeah, of us. Oh, yeah, he is, yeah, he is. That yeah. guy is. Oh, Jason, yeah, yeah. Jason. Shout out to Jason. He's a great guy. He's incredible. You know what? Incredible Staff has guy. been nothing yeah. but awesome. Jason does uh, a great uh, job. I think we're, is that 15 all? Yep. Ah, if he's, he's saying the serve that. was out, then that's. It might have been. So then I it think it's going to be 15-30. Uh, okay, it is getting, it is definitely getting foggier, by the way. Get down, sit down. What a shot. Yeah, sometimes it gets, I can see it gets a little, I'm, I'm telling you, I've played uh, with Will before, and it can get a little demoralizing sometimes because you think you got him, but because he looks like, you know, well, because he's a little thicker dude, like he's done some weightlifting, and you think he's not that quick. No, no, not at all. He is quick. He is really quick. He's got great reflexes and awesome hands. Like, like that. Look at that. Sick. Yeah. All right, so this has turned into a war here, and they've, again, credit both teams. Oh. Oh. Credit both teams for hanging in, but definitely Steinman and Labropoulos for being down 4-1 in the second and bringing it back to, to Reggie Jackson, an old New York Yankee reference. Look at that. He's going to dig that out. Almost hit the, the backhand ball a little too hard. Of course, who am I to be? Critical. Like I said, Graham's whole family can beat me at left. What a shot. Oh, you, maybe you could see. Maybe you just can't see. I don't know. It looks like a sauna out there now. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> and that's, that's the disappointing thing is we're going to walk out there Steamer. and it'll be freezing. Spa treatment out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's just ripping. Yeah. Yeah. I know that I'm not the target audience, but I don't get saunas. It's just uncomfortable. <laughs> you, you know what? You're right. You're not the so target up. <laughs> Eat shock proteins, mate. Yeah. That's where it's at. That's true. Yes. Oh, what a shot. I was reading some interesting articles about Finnish, the Finnish culture and their yes. use of saunas, and it's like a associated factor in their longevity. Well, they do that, and then they go bathe in the colds. So yeah. they're like doing the. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe you know, there's so something many to that F1 too. references to make today. Yep. <laughs> That's true. You got the flying fins, Sean. Well, I got to tell you this much about. Uh, Scandinavia in general, I would call her Nor I mean, not only Finland, but I would say Norway. Because that area of the, of the world, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm an audio guy, they have the best technology audio-wise. Really? Oh, yeah. Come on. Like in, in, in definitely just Norway, Finland, Sweden, just some of the best music producers, some of the best. It's, a, it's amazing. Sometimes Austria and Germany. And we do pretty well, you know, and Australia does pretty well, and the UK does pretty well. But there's just, I don't know what it is, but that area of the world, I don't know. It's just amazing. They just oh, what's get so Neumann? That's German, right? Yeah, that, but that's been around forever. Yeah, I'm talking about okay. some of the technology, you know, and that is great. It's a great microphone. I mean, they make real microphones. They make very expensive microphones. Really. Anyways, to go back to paddle. Yeah, exactly. What a match. No, it's right. unbelievable. Right, guys? And this is, I tell you what, this goes three sets. We're going to be here for a while. We can only pray that it does. So it'd just be awesome. You know what? I, I got to tell you, there's even more of a, oh, that's a great dish right there. 
But there's even more of an advantage now for McNerney hitting those, you know, moon shots. Great move from Coma. Okay, that for the record, that was not profanity. No. Yeah. So I didn't have to hit the mute button. I thought I would have to. All right, 30 love. Comar and McNerney seeing if they can get it back to five all. Sammy Hagar land, one of my favorite musicians, by the way. I really only know the uh, I can't drive. 55, well, that was the reason why. He, yeah, right. That was, I, 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 under, I understood. Crazy dig from Alex Rembropolis. Doing some archaeology. <laughs> Paleontology. Oh, what a oh. shot. Come on. That's a tour backhand. He moves into the... I said it before. He moves into his two-hander as well as anybody I've seen. Like, it. that's... Okay, Djokovic. That's nice. All right, so 15-30... Great wow, shot. awesome. Huge couple of points here. All right, can they, can they bring it back oh, here? I had the wrong person serving it. Oh, wait, was that game? No. Oh, he tried to go down the line with that drop shot, which I don't, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, I don't know, it is an option when you get up there, but. All right, I've got no idea what's going on now then. If it's, I thought that, that might have been a new game. Am I crazy? Shot. We're back to deuce here. Okay, we're at deuce. All, All right. right. So now, now you're back on it. Don't All worry right. about it. Like we never left. Anybody? At least you got your tacos. It oh. worked. Oh, I don't know. Well, whatever. It could have been wide. I can't tell. I think that was very clearly in, personally. All right, let's I don't know about clearly. Not a, just, not a, not I, a, I think it was. No, I, I not Alex, a wasn't, Alex wasn't looking at it really. And we're not, so, I'm not right on the yeah, line, so no. I can't tell. Well, one, there's that, and the video is not. The video is not 60 frames per second. Like it's 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 not 90 frames per second. We don't have slow mo. So. And it's foggy. Yeah, and it's foggy. I, no one's out there trying to make a uh, make a bad call. No, the least of all excellent no, vocals. No, not Speak, at all. What again? What oh, a wow. shot. Good communication there. He, t he hit the net. Okay. That was fudge for everybody at home. That was not what you think it was. And that was that's game. <laughs> all right. So five all. I feel like we were watching this movie last. This was the same movie from last set, wasn't it? You get yeah. You're gonna be. Let's we try. Here's what we're gonna try to do. We'll go. Uh, they seem to think the set's over. I think that's okay. it. Do you think so? I, I guess. I can't. It can't. They would be leaving the court. I think it's five all. Yeah. Okay. I'm trusting what we had. I don't know why I'm. Yeah. I know. I think it's. I think it's five five. Yeah. They just change ends though. I, well, that's true. It can't be five all if they change ends. You know, you're right, Cliff. This is why you're the director, dude. What a get. So I guess we got a new set coming. No, that's what I thought. I thought the set. Ended when when they come get a new ball? No, no, because no, no, Alex was serving. Yeah, Alex was serving. It was a new game when I said. Four or five. Four or five, like the dentist, you know, or shot. All right, so. All right, it's, I think it's 30 love right now, or I think it might be 30 love. Man, he's ripping that serve wide. Right, and uh, co coach, that, that doesn't even have a huge amount of spin on it, which means it doesn't really kick the, the way it, that serve normally would. Wow, I haven't seen that happen in a while. A little mid-air collision. Yeah, usually it's a chest bump, you know, from... Uh... There's a great clip somewhere on the APTA social media of uh, Juan Araya jumping into Graham's arms. <laughs> Just incredible when they won charities this year. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, got away with it. It's Unfortunate. Little... There was a couple of elite Replay screen drives from Lambropolis in that point. Incredible. They made it look good, though. All right, so 30-15. 
still on their way to see if they can get it to front. Good dig off that first volley. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, he's got like four different, like 14 different rollers off the back end, so it's amazing. You take a little bit bigger swing. Who's going to blink here? I love the half follow lob. And as I said before, a reset. Oh, a basic reset. <laughs> I'm always going for the mute button just to make sure that there was any more to do. Well, All right. it seems like the, uh, the match on the other court ended, so we'll try to get a score update. These That'll give the, us an uh, idea of whether this... Uh-oh. Uh yeah. uh five, five. No, I thought that was game. Say what? He's still serving. Oh. All right, maybe we just can't keep scoring. So it's 40-30 then. Shot. You know, I think the confusion was was uh, Alex called that shot out to us, but then they decided they gave the point to Graham. Oh, did they? That's I think that's what. Uh, not that we were we were still a game ahead, but it's hard. Well, it's you know, it's funny we don't hear that, but we can hear the profanity out there. So, well, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I like the baseline cutters myself too. Just hit it where it, you know, it's in there. It's amazing. I think what you do is your 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 uh, vision just gets what it get gets used to the fog. Nice. I gotta tell you something though, Cliff. The lighting here is phenomenal. I love that idea. I love that idea. First of all, he did want go to the correct side, and so he had to duck, duck out of the way and never got, was able to get back. So you're right, Cal. That 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 match. Okay. All right, we're going to excuse uh, Cliff Marsland, the director here at Inverness Paddle, because he's. But thank you very much for being here. By the way, that was nice of you to nice. sit in. Considering, you know, we don't have uh, Coach McClure, but, you know. Yeah, Sean, I know you were briefly mentioning back problems, but it's only going to get worse having to carry me through the rest of the stream here. <laughs> no, it's fine. This guy's a professional, just like all the people the on the best. court here right now. I'm I mean, liking Graham's this, lob is, this kind of mood music here. It's kind of like, wow. like a roadhouse, you know, feel to it. Yeah, it does, does have a roadhouse feel to it. Roadhouse. <laughs> With Patrick Swayze. His name is Dome. So we're seeing a little bit more of a patient's tolerance threshold here. Cal, it looks like uh, you know, just being a little bit more patient. That usually happens when, what a shot. Usually happens when it gets Set Closer point. to the end of the set, and then we do have consider. Uh, speaking of the set, here's the set point for Komar McInerney to even McNerney. it up. Watch that. I love it. Just got rid of the music just for concentration purposes now. Nope, just a change of the song, I think. <laughs> what, a, what a dig. Gotta love that. That is something that we actually teach. You got to go down and get a dig on the backhand side, sometimes just using your left hand if you're a right-hander or your right hand if you're a left-hander to stabilize and open the paddle face to get some loft on that lob. Always nice to have that second hand there. Even if you're not a two-handed backhand player, just using this, the other hand to make sure you get some loft on that ball. It that's in there. All right, so now it's like a roadhouse, you know, next Friday thing going on. If anybody remembers that, our house party, uh, roadhouse house party. 
That's a signature Colmar shot, by the way. The let it go around me. I'm just going to kind of coast a uh, a forehand drive down the line. Yeah, serious. Oh, I love the move. Love the move from That's McInerney for the set. Unbelievable. All right, we're going three people. Buckle up. They'll be coming out here to get a new ball. And we'll be coming back after these messages, I want to say, Cal. And we'll look at this oh, replay we'll first. Oh, poetry, baby. All right, we will be Robert right back. Robert Frost. All right. Not your bank's top priority? Here at Wintrust, we take a different approach to banking. No hidden fees or runarounds, but a true banking partner focused on your unique financial goals. Whether you're opening your first account, found your dream home, planning for the future, or starting a business, we have the financial solutions to get you there. Stop settling and start experiencing a better way to bank. Wintrust. Different approach, better results. From the heart of Chicago, up to the North Shore, and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. And we're back. Sorry, I didn't cue you there, Sean, so the music okay, was a little off. But he's got the reactions of a cat this time, an actual cat. Joining us on the microphone is the venerable. I love <laughs> using that word. Yeah, yeah, I, you, I learned you, that you one from you. Love using it it as was much that as I one do. and deleterious. Yeah, deleterious. Uh, but that a... one does not apply to who we have on the microphone. Andrew Ong, the organizer of, well, at least tonight's event. That's but right, the legends. In general, the CPTC legends. Where, was the idea yours? We were debating this. No, so I, they did away with like the traditional series one, yeah. what, two years ago, and we did something different last year where it was just go to different clubs and do different formats. You know, there was no real team thing, maybe for one night, but not for a whole season. And so the, the structure this year was, hey, let's break into four teams, six guys, you know, three I lines. Each match will have a winner, right? You, you just play each team once a month, right? Because guys are playing on other teams. There's tons of tons of paddle to play, but we just get out once a month and do team matches. And then this is the semifinals for the for the league, right? We'll play the finals and in two weeks at Glenview. I think you guys will be back out for yep. that. Yes. In two weeks at Glenview and we'll do the finals. So, okay. But well, we're starting out the third here. Well, so if I'm not mistaken, and if you could explain it a little bit, Andrew, I think we were told that this match here decides the semifinal. So the winner right. of this uh, will take their wow. team to That's the final. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. And on the other side, um, my team, the, the line three down there, just closed out their match. And so we're going to the final. Um, awesome. And we'll just play in two weeks against, you know, whichever team wins this match. And so this is Team Oaks versus Team... Team... Sorry. Team Lambropolis. 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 Right. And okay. so Lambropolis is on Team Lambropolis, and then Graham and, Graham and Will are playing for Team Oaks. All right, starting out... Uh, Pretty much the same way the other two sets started. It's almost like it was a, they call it a break fest, feast. But look at that. Good move from McNerney. McNerney, yeah. Kind of getting tired of saying that. He's just all over the place. That was, it's been an entertaining match, Andrew, I'm telling you. Yeah, these uh, are nice all touch. guys that can make a lot of shots. Yeah. Right? Graham can just stuff volleys and hit cut overheads. Yeah. And, you know, Lambo's cutting it up too. I, I know Robert's got that big backhand. I've been playing some tournaments with him. Well, you know, that um, that's always the commentator jinx, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I've <laughs> seen you do it on my match. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, I'm, all, all, I'm apologizing now yeah. and then he's in the future uh, yeah. if it happens. So but His yeah, backhand's so good. I, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I was saying before, I don't know many people that can move in and mechanically hit the ball that hard with with that little a swing. It's amazing. He's yeah. got yeah, he's he's just that's just talent. That's one of the other uh, disadvantages, Andrew. We we're talking about because I I will uh, teach part time. You know, 
sure. just Lakeshore Country Club, just sub for people and whatever, which is the fate most people don't want to even have to experience. But the point, the point is, uh, sometimes watching matches like this, oh. look at that, is um, especially a blow volley like that, because Graham's kind of a tall drink of water, so it's not easy <laughs> for him to, you know what I mean, to get that ball. But uh, so it's just difficult because you'll see some shots in a match like this with you guys just making shots. And, and of course, we've got to, I'll just get some people that are league players that are like, okay, at practice, Sean, we want to work on our uh, backhand roller. And I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> want to work on a forehand roller first. <laughs> yeah. If you had Sean saying that three times, I think mean, you just got bingo. <laughs> but it's a good point. I would imagine. I teach like seven year olds. And Platform? They, and they beat me. Oh, okay. No, it's tennis. Okay. No, it's okay. But I, I, because I've done that too. I beat the four year olds, though. That's just a great, great shot, shot from Rob Steinberg. That's his best overhead. That slash. The, the deep side. Yeah, yeah. He just, and he just loves it. He eats it up. Um, yeah, he does. He hits that hard. And again, we were, we were saying before uh, how. Uh, basically, Will Comar is, I want to say the developer of the underhand serve, but basically one of the original pioneer purveyors of the underhand serve, where he's got it pretty much down. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, he's got a good article about it on the APTA website, I think. See, now that's smart, right? Why come in? Why not just what a go dick. back? Come on. I mean, there's no way. I agree with you, by the way, Andrew. But there's no way that the average person is going to get that dig back. No, I. <laughs> so. Average person's not in that backhand either, though. No. Uh, Switch it up. Okay. All right. So what's the strategy here? Where's the safe spot? It's a good question. Kind of push middle, right? Yeah, I, mean, I would think so. Of, you push to Will's backhand. You know, Graham's safe if you don't go to the screens, right? Yep. And look at that. Push, push, push. Exactly. What's the score? Uh, right now it is advantage Colmar McNerney. Okay. Yeah, so that's great, right? Okay, yeah. Big point. First game's huge. Right, they just lost the set. Yep. Get a little momentum back. Ooh. I love it. Yeah, there's something we're going to work on on Monday, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Go to the screen, Graham drives. Just after grabbing a new ACL. <laughs> I'm just happy the camera st uh, withstood that, Cal. So yeah. good job there. For the record. Oh my God. Look at the raw range. That'll, that doesn't happen real often, but it does happen. In other words, you're just anticipating a waterfall. You take off, figuring you're taking on the rise. Just gets ahead of you. Maybe yeah. in the first set he had it, right? Yeah. Gets to the legs after a while. Oh. He is a strong dude too. It's not like he needs much leg drive either. He can get away. I mean, I'm serious. Like he can get away with just kind of snapping his forehand. It's the Jalen Hurts of paddle. That's not a bad analogy. It's just that Hurts Hurts legs are what we're talking about. But I like I like where you're going with that one, Cal. You're keeping it topical. There's a stupid dig. And again, he. I tell you what, that backhand roller is almost. Too natural for me. Like I, I mean, I will say it one more time because Cal's keeping track of the bingo. But uh, I, back when I was first playing paddle, a lot of these shots were not considered. Dude, there's no way you just missed that. <laughs> <laughs> so these teams played. They played this exact same match. Is that right? Uh, about a month and a half ago at Exmoor. Yeah. And it was like you know one of the main the regular season matches, and I think Graham and Will won 6-3 in the third. Is that right? So you wonder if Robert and Alex are just going to thinking about bubble that? Down. Yeah. Just... Here's what we're doing this okay, time we're around. Not, we're not losing twice in a row. Gotcha. Right. Well, they, they do have, that's okay, Cal. I was going to say, they, although they don't have, uh, Stein and the Broncos don't necessarily have the momentum because they just lost that last set. They didn't lose it by much, and uh, truth be told, they were down 4-1, if I'm not mistaken. So they, they were, got a little back. Yeah, they, came, they got a little back, and they got a little uh, hot so for a while. So who's the PTI favorite here? We've got wow. Graham at negative 8. And we've got wow, we're getting a handicap here. This is awesome. Will Comar at 8, so they're about at 0. Although he's better than any 
right? He's been, I think so. He just maybe he hasn't played a lot this right. year. Ben McKnight was saying he's, yeah, he's yeah. He has just been playing a ton. Okay. Well, either way, they net out to about a zero. We got Alex Lampropoulos at a zero. And we've got Robert Steinman at a negative five. It's a pretty even shot. We played tournament last weekend. Robert and I, and he normally plays the outside with that backhand, and we did, we ended up doing a lot of switching. Yeah. And he just played, and, you know, got slow, they just kind of pushed middle at me, right? Robert's not hitting the forehand, I'm right. not hitting anything, and, uh, and we switched, and he just got a million backhands in the middle. I think he's so rangy with it. Yeah, oh, there's no question. You know, it's like, I mean, just he looks for it, too, right. which he should. If I, if, if I could hit it like that, I'd look for it, too. All the time. I want to hit it all day long. But, but that's one another thing, right? Look Where it's that. like Will just gave him a backhand, but if they just you know start pushing middle, maybe you switch again. Sure. Um. Back to Roadhouse, Sean. I know. I was just gonna say this is uh seems like a one of those restaurant scenes. If you're not sure. It's a good volley. It's a great volley. He's got such a good volley. Unbelievable. Well, see, I just said he's got such a great volley. He That's all right. I just got to credit uh, Komar for that one. Yeah. Just a little touch. Sometimes the best kind of drive is one with no pace at all or very little. Yeah, it's just true. You get get uh, Lombropolis down there, who usually can bend for those. Really, really well. Great serve, by the way, to come back there. So 30 all. Okay, it's it's still foggy, but it hasn't gotten foggier than it was like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. It just still looks like a sauna or a steam room. I don't know. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say, uh, uh, McNerney, it definitely top three for best lob. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, I'm, the only reason I'm saying top three is because it's hard to say who the best is or something. But he just, that, it's just amazing how many. I don't get Sean started on the greatest of all time argument. All right. Well, first of all, I don't know. It's hard to. Well, no, I you make a good point. I think he's just diligent with it, right? Yeah. He doesn't really take any balls off, right? Like, someone can make a million lobs and they'll, you know, yes. throw in ten short ones. Every He's just kind of like, he's just really diligent, you know. Oh, every yeah. single lob matters, right? Yeah. You just always feel a little bit of pressure hitting overheads, right? Very classic form, too. He he's, exaggerates his follow-through a little bit like we always tell. Right. Look at like that. Like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean... It's funny because Colmar's got his own style, but he's more of like a flick lob guy. Yeah. Which I don't mind because he's just, you know, he's so that, Graham, he can do it. He won't move his feet right unless he needs to. He'll just right. stand in one place very efficient. That's a great like lob. He's just, his feet just yep. don't move that much. Uh, efficiency of movement, I have no idea what that's like. Look at that. Gonna say I was waiting for a drive off with the call mark pedal. Swing at any ball and it's yep. okay. Shot. These screens are really tight Unbelievable. here. Unbelievable. Are they? I was they just gonna are. ask They're really that tight. And you know what? It's like what, 35 tonight and it's been in the twenties and in the teens a right. lot. It feels warm so out there. It feels I mean he's wearing shorts, right? Yeah, it's true. Shot. I love that one and a half hander there. He, you know what? He is so good at that. It's amazing. The fruit ninja. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the, where he's, it's uh, Swan Lake over there. He just kind of like pir pirouettes it. He said he danced Swan Lake when he was little. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I think it's the next part of the next Paddle Files video. Ah. Oh, he misses that one. All right, so. Advantage Steinman and Lebropolis here to go to up to love. 
Dink again. Dude, what this place is raucous on a Tuesday night. So, I mean, you have to go at will here, right? At this point, like, I think you're right. Like, he's just missed a ball or two. You're trying to close the game out. Like, you almost want them to shift a little left, right? Yep. And just, and just kind of really... Or maybe the other option is, hey, let's go at Graham for a long time, right? He's not going to drive a bunch of balls. And then he's going to be super steady, but maybe Will gets a little antsy, right? And then, yep. and then when Steps you finally do, right, right there. yeah, you finally do give Will ball, right? And he goes for a big shot, right? Which is fine, but wow, right? It goes for two big shots, like right? Long point, kind of antsy, hits a good one, goes for yep. Man. Yeah, there was all, there, they used to have like a, a ratio where you're going to go for two spectacular shots in a row. It yeah. generally doesn't work out. But <laughs> he's talented enough where I've seen him pull it off, so it's difficult. Right. Oh, that's a good lob. Super lob. Wow. Oh Incredible yeah, recovery. Because, I mean, the ball so almost looked like it was going to be long, but I think it caught the back edge, and uh, Alex just kind of hoisted one up there. Yeah. Worked out. Uh -huh. Good ball. You know, Alex playing the deuce side, I think he's so good. Um, he's played the ad side forever, right, with Mitch right. Ranger. Right, And And uh, he's just getting so many more forehands off the screen on the on the deuce side, you know, serves the yeah, come-off part. Yeah, you know what, Andrew, you're right. His backhand is still just as good, right? He used to short hop a lot of backhands sure. on the ad side. Good shot, he's so, yeah. Just a little miscommunication there. And Will makes some pay for that. 15 all. Dressy thinking, climb back in. But look, yeah, see, he just gets that forehand. Sure. So much more frequently, and it's so technically sound. Uh, he played tennis in Kentucky. Yep. Right, just a yep. really good you know, swing mechanics. Oh, without question. I want, matter of fact, I was mentioning before I watched him win the uh, state title in doubles. Did you really? Yep. Oh, well. Uh, with his partner. His partner went to... Actually, his partner went to Stanford, kind of like Robbie. Okay. Uh, Matt Brook. Both of those guys were talented. It was kind of it's kind of tough. I was coaching a kid that was in the fi the semifinals against them. And uh, <laughs> it didn't, didn't go real well. But. It was all the players, right? It wasn't nothing to do with the coaching. Well, you know what? Maybe it did. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being honest, Andrew. I think I think if uh, I don't know, uh, I think if Jason Hansman and his partner, you know, might have had somebody better. I don't know. I couldn't do any coaching there anyway. It's a state tournament, so whatever I did, you know. Anyway, um, now cream rises to the top, Andrew. You know, it's it's, man, it's, all right. it's all right. Have we talked about Will's paddle yet? Have you know what? Uh, um, I believe. Um, Ben McKnight talked about moon, was a moon moonshot. Yeah. Moonshot, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a. I guess he knows the owners, or did he go to school with the owners, or? They? I don't know, but I know he's helping them. He calls it R and D. I don't know what he does with them, but he calls it R and D. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hit a few balls with one of them. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. No, not yeah, that's not nice. an endorsement, but. Right. He's always yeah, he's always got a different paddle to try. Sure. Same paddle painted differently, yeah. right? I don't want to. Actually, I'm going to pull you on something because I was talking to a, a member. Okay. A member about this because they were asking me, "Hey, you know what? I've had my paddle for four years. Oh God. You know, and uh, should I get a new one and should I get the same model?" And I just said, "All right, look." Some, I mean, because I, I know guys that are playing Series 1 that have had paddles for a while, and they just love it. Like they Robert. Get, right. He's had one for a couple years. Right, and he point. won't he won't right. get rid of it. And I understand it because you just like the feel. Yeah. I get it. But there is, because there is a difference between a new paddle, like material-wise, you're going to get a little bit more life yeah. out of it. And so it's tough to get used to it. So I almost understand why guys don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, there's something. No way. Oh, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's something to the core, right? To yep. the grit. Yep. You know, no, you know, four years, even if you're playing just once a week in the winter, it's, it's like going to do go. something to it. Yep. Um, 
All right, yeah. a three love lead I, from Stein and Lombropoulos, by the way. Go ahead. Uh, well, I do think they all feel different. You know, I've used the same model, and they feel a little different. I yep. don't know how the controls are on the, you know, yep. you know, on the, you know, the quality control. All right, yeah, control, for the quality the control, yeah. And stuff, but, um, yeah. Well, they do the best they can. I mean, yeah. I, but I, but yeah. I, I just always wonder about that, and I, and I, I think I probably go through one every four or five months. Like okay. I've been rotating with two this sure, season, sure. and I feel that they're both going to kind of get me through nationals, and then it'll sure. be time to get a couple, yeah. new, you know, a couple new ones. Sure. Um, but I'm playing a ton. You yeah, know, you. I I, well, we we've noticed that. But uh, the other thing I, is, no, it's it's a good thing. Yeah. But with the uh, the other thing is, do you feel like you got to break them in? Like in other words, you go out and go. I got a new paddle. I want to play for a little I, while for. I do, but I I think I try and rotate pretty frequently now. Do you? Um, wow. All right. I've seen him make that backhand cut yeah. a million times. That's the I next shot it, I want to hit. If you're, if you're, <laughs> let's ben and I, uh, Ben McKnight and I went out on the volley machine and we just hit like a hundred of them, you know, over and over. He's got a volley <laughs> machine at Glenview and we just hit backhand cutters over and over. Rob Bacher was doing it to me. In sure, the, I know uh, Rob. He was doing it to me in the cabin fever final. Sure. And I just kept poking the ball over there and he just kept hitting. Like, you know, what am I going to learn? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and my part, Tom Murphy, right, he's, my partner's like, stop doing this. <laughs> well, you know. So that's fun. always fun. Yeah. Um, anyways. I was, matter of fact, it's, it, that's one of my favorite things about uh, doubles is where you're usually, I'm usually pretty friendly with my partners, <laughs> but I remember uh, I played with one guy and it was, I also played tennis with him. He would do the same thing where he'd go, he'd get aced wide or something. And he'd just go, he doesn't have that serve. And I was like, he's he's aced you three times. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> he obviously it. developed it. I think you better move over. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, stop denying it. That's <laughs> funny. I mean, because I'm sorry, but if somebody does it three times. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, he's up there. Oh. That's funny. Well, I love having partners where we can, you know, the sign of a good partnership, right, is you can give constructive feedback to yeah, each other sure. in the right right time, in the right That's setting. What a uh, great shot. Awesome. Um, we played, Alex and I played an exhibition at, uh, at Hinsdale a couple weeks ago with Johan and Steven. Sure. And, you know, Noah from Xenon had him in for for a couple clinics and, pro sure. or and, and things, and Alex must have hit, like, 30 of those, you know? Yeah. It was incredible. Um, but, but yeah, you know, being able to give constructive criticism and what you should and shouldn't do, and even sure. this uh, this past weekend out in New Jersey after, you know, we were kind of debriefing after our day. Sure. Robert was talking about, we were talking about some of the balls he was missing and, and some of my decisions, and he was like, yeah, I think you you fall in love with that cut overhead a little bit too much. And I was like, well, you're probably right. <laughs> I thought that was, that was diplomatic. Funny, and I'm glad he said he's like, he's like I, you know, I want to say this because I, you know, I want to have some constructive criticism too. You know? Sure. Definitely. No, so it's, that was good. No, it is. I, 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 I you know, I, I believe that. Yeah. Sometimes you got to own it. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I, I, I get it. I mean, I've yeah. been there more times than I want to even mention. No, I knew he was right, for sure. That's that's all I want to do, is just push a little like that. But, oh, good hands. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Come on. Oh, he missed it wide. And he knows it. Wow. Just to get him get him to add. Sorry, I have no idea this was 3-1 no, it's, 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 it's No, no, no. That was just that was a deuce. So it's, it's add, add advantage, out. Colmar, and McNerney. What a third set. Yeah. Oh, try that one. All right, let him climb back in here. Back to Deuce. Oh, that was. You know, this is one of the things we talked about this weekend too, Robert and I. We were up in the main draw. We were up like six one four two, and and we let it slip. You know, we look, you know, six one four two serving. We wow. lose like you know four and four, six four in the third, and we were just talking about it afterwards. Like man, like there's no lead that's safe, right? This is a crazy <laughs> sport. Yeah. So you just gotta put it away. And so I wonder if he's thinking about that now, right? Because that was like three days ago. 
you know, and he's, you know, up 3-0 again sure. in the third set, and it's like, man, we really got to close this out, so, okay, so they he's go probably, to They're up there at four, they're at four love now. Great. And this can't happen in a three-set match, you, yeah. you know, just on, especially at a, on a third set, some team just gets rolling. It's not like they win every point, but they just win the key points. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've had many times where you it's it's difficult. You, I mean, I find it, I don't know, I mean, I've just been beat enough in my, my career, <laughs> uh, especially on the tennis court. But, you know, you uh, you just get an idea of, hey, you know what? I played as well as I could play, and I still lost. I was like, I'm actually okay with that. Yeah. I was actually okay even losing to, if I didn't play that well, but at least I could say, well, speed, yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're there kidding. Is, but that's what I mean. Like, he, he doesn't get that ball as much on the outside or the angle is right. right, right? When you're on the deuce side, you know, you kind of have sure. line, middle, cross, yep. right? But on the outside, if you're, if you're trying to push, you, I just feel like there aren't as many angles. No. Not as many safe spots to hit that for you. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, love 30. Boy, I tell you what, the as I said, we, this, this is my my oh, mean okay. average uh, age of the people that choosing the music. has got to be my age. Because come on, I haven't heard this. In, Good shot, Robert. Wow, what a shot! It's uh, yeah. You talk about taking that early. Didn't even have to take a backswing. All right, love forty. Is there a song you want them to cue up? No. Oh. I mean, I, 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 there, there are, pro but no, nobody's going to want to hear it. But that I could tell you. Right. Right. Wow. Okay. Five. And we blink. So, Beethoven's hey, fifth. So how big? Yeah. How big is that fourth game, right? Because Huge. that was such a long game, right? If they go to three-one, there's probably a little more fight. Exactly. Graham, right. But instead, sure. that you know, that last game just went super quick, and like that's the difference, right? And we were thinking this weekend, hey. 4-2, we go to 5-2, you know, 6-1, 5-2, sure. maybe they go away, right? You lose the game. And so I'm clearly still really hung up on that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like... you're entitled, Andrew. That's okay, man. It, it's, you know. I've just I, been, no, it, I've just been complaining about it nonstop. That's all right. Um, well, I'll tell you what, since we're bearing our souls about, you know, how psychologically, uh, you know, um, unstable we might be in certain areas, <laughs> let me tell you, so... I was thinking about this. Uh, we were talking about one-handed backhands. So I always struggled with mine all the way through college. Uh, I played for uh, Hofstra University in New York. Oh, nice. And um, exactly, that's about it, all it really was. But the point is, <laughs> <laughs> so I played. Uh, no, no, we, we, we were Division One. We just brought happiness wherever we went. That's all the problem, the problem was. But, um, and we were the Flying Dutchman, by the way. We were not the Pride. They're the Pride now. But when I was back, you know, that's how old I am when we were the Flying Dutchman. But anyway. So I used to love watching somebody hit. Hey, thank you, Pete. Th no, thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, Pete Perka just checking in here, the legend. Uh, uh, but I was going to say is I used to love watching people hit a one-handed backhand, especially for a passing shot. So I, play, I used to play this one guy from Cornell, and he had a most beautiful one-handed backhand. Andy Bernard. No. His name was David <laughs> Merritt. But anyway, anyway, he, <laughs> nice try, though. Uh, but anyway, he... Uh, he could hit it on the run, and it was just a, it was such a disgustingly nice shot, and I was a serving volleyer. I used to let it go, Andrew. My, my coach would be like, why don't you reach out and get that? I was like, I oh, know, it's such a pretty shot, Coach. I, That's I didn't want to touch it. <laughs> oh, is he all right? Is he okay? He's fine. All right. He's fine. I, I love I mean, the I idea. Assume that was coming. As he did a clay tennis slide. Yeah, I know he's line, back, like, back. Yeah, before that. Set. Yeah, it's amazing, so his shoes are hanging out for dear life. We got it. We do have a match point here. Okay. Right. And he's still. <laughs> Alex is still kind of reacting that to was it. That's the plan, right? That's pretty funny. And I get good lob. Don't you love? Know, Will is not going away. He's. That's right. He's going. He's going. He's kind of blitzing for the sake of blitzing now. Which is fine. Sometimes that'll work. <laughs> All right, back to twos. Did that kick? That's wow, out. that didn't miss by much, though. I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, another 
match point here. Screaming at that. Oh Jeez. yeah! Oh yeah! Great, match. unbelievable match. See you in the final, Lamp yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Those are fighting words. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Hey, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for being for coming here. On. You know, they had the, uh, you got a chance to scout now a little bit. You Definitely. Know? Yeah. Kind of worked out. Yeah, that was great. Anyway, Andrew Hawk, thank you so much for being with. Me. Okay, so from. Uh, Inverness, I guess, Cal, that's it, man. I can't yeah, well, believe we, we actually got to go got to thank Ben McKnight and... We do. Uh, and, and Cliff, Cliff Marsland. Marsland. Yeah. Mars Bar is what yeah. I was going to call him. Marsland, he's awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah this is a great... Is yeah, here at Inverness Golf Club. Well... It's been a, been a blast. So we'll and see... Do you so mind if I give a quick shout-out to Russ Please, Mopra. go for he's it. He's not here tonight. He's an Inverness member. Oh, cool. And he's been texting me. He's is he? been, <laughs> oh, he's been very active in the chat. He's been messaging me on LinkedIn. Yes. He's been asking me to play member guest, and it just hasn't worked out. And I just, he's not here, and I really wanted to see him. Go ahead, so, man. That's, that's all. all. No, okay. That's awesome. I'm done. Just no, that's fine. Oh, okay, we appreciate it. Yeah. Well, anyway, from Inverness Golf Club, it's been the CPTC with Cal Noble, Sean Albert, and Andrew Hogg. Have a good one. See ya. Thanks, guys. From the heart of Chicago, up to the North Shore, and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Not your bank's top priority? Here at Wintrust, we take a different approach to banking. No hidden fees or runarounds, but a true banking partner focused on your unique financial goals. Whether you're opening your first account, found your dream home, planning for the future, or starting a business, we have the financial solutions to get you there. Stop settling and start experiencing a better way to bank. Win trust.